Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Winter, and I'm here with another Angry Coach Marathon. We've got a new round of people, some of the fa same faces playing the same races, going through their paces, but still unable to even tie basic shoelaces because you look at all their plans and all the places that they've decided to put their turrets in other s sort of lace I'm, I'm out I ran out and other other aces uh, and and it'll leave you scratching your head and saying well maybe you know I ran out before and now I, I didn't have a plan past that I had about 30 seconds of a plan and then we just kind of freestyled from there so I've got a lot in common with the disappointments we're about to see today a lot of the same people who uh, like being insulted for attention, for a little bit of recognition, and to pretend like they're ever going to get better at a game they were never good at. Thank you for watching Angry Coach Marathon. Turn it off now. First, once again, is Laser Eyes. Let's see. Let's see if Laser Eyes has something to say who couldn't stop telling us about how he was the only shame last week. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to bring you what I assume will be something similar. Here is Laser Eyes losing to Protoss. How exciting. We could be watching DreamHack replays, but you guys don't pay me to cast those besides uh, clicking on the videos, so. Let's go. Oh, a follower. Is that all? All right, laser eyes. Let's see if you have any sort. Well, to start out, the Protoss is AFK. Um, just in case. Uh, we'll see when he comes back to the computer. Okay, first 20 seconds AFK, not so bad. This was a cannon rush. No, it wasn't so much a cannon rush as uh, he was AFK for 20 seconds, and then he cannon rushed. But yes, I'm sure. Yeah, it was more like a cannon jog, if you would. Like, not a cannon crawl. Okay. Uh, a leisurely jog. He eventually decided he's going can. So, now, there's a reason why the second Overlord from Pro from Zerg, um, this is a little bit more detailed, like having individual Overlord placements against each race, but your second Overlord just kind of hangs out by your natural expansion. So that way, you can see things like this shit right here. That overlord is just kind of going across the map. And you might be like, well, this was a cannon rush game. I I would say, even in higher masters, I don't think it becomes necessarily more or less in higher masters, but like in diamond, a solid 15 to 25% of your games 
or some variety of cannon rush, cannon jog, cannon crawl, cannon in, in D, uh, whatever the Protoss decides on that day. Like, well, we will see. I'm sorry. Yeah, so the Overlord... Overlords don't counter many things. And they don't counter cannon rushes. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you the benefit of the doubt that uh, it wouldn't be this delayed of a response if you had seen it earlier. Roach one. An interesting choice. I'm pretty sure none of those cannons hit the hatch, by the way. Yeah, this is another thing when you have an overlord. There were no cannons hitting the hatch. This is why you wait for the hatch to be almost done, so at least he has to build the cannons. Right now, there is nothing that can hit the hatch. Um, the hatch was fine. <laughs> But the existential threat of a cannon rush, on the other hand. Get it! It's not done yet! You'll get it when it's done! Either way, it's not that I necessarily think a Nidus is a bad response. I just think... Jumping immediately to like Nidus while a, re a decent response is maybe a little. Maybe you didn't explore all your options. <laughs> because Nidus is good if they do like a minimal, like, like, not a minimal cannon rush, but like a big cannon rush with like four or five cannons, or maybe they're doing a shield battery push and they have nothing in their main. Whereas we can quite literally see something in their main right now in fact he even has a cannon there because he has let's let's see if he's done his diligence he's scouted most of the bases found no hatcheries and he's correctly discerned that indeed a nidus is likely and then you you have the graciousness to decide of all the places to put a nidus the one with the two zealots the two zealots that were standing right the fuck there. You're like, that's the spot. The hive is like, come on! You know the cannon's there! It's not like this comes as a surprise! Ha I'm not saying the Nidus is a bad idea. I'm saying your Nidus is a bad idea. It's very specific to you. You have laser eyes, maybe use them. Maybe go like here. You're like, fuck it. My controller thumbstick doesn't isn't very precise. Uh, if you're gonna do a one base nidus and the first one you do right on top of the side blades of couple zealots, maybe you spend more than 0.3 seconds figuring out whether or not the second one is gonna die to static defense. Why do you think this is gonna be better? This is the same thing! You fucking time loop bottle episode Star Trek throwaway character buffoon! It's like, but in this time loop, I will move the knight slightly to the right and see if that changes everything. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, the fourth one isn't gonna work any better than the second. At this point, the Nidus has been countered. I think you get three. Three is the limit, and then they're just gonna kind of have whatever they need. The, well, the first one. So to reiterate, there is no cannon rush. There is just the threat of a cannon rush. Maybe, well one, your second overlord hangs out over your natural, so at least this way 
when he does cannon rush, you can panic quicker. Remember, he was AFK for the first 20 seconds. Just remember... Rem and then, suddenly, we break out and realize... Also, yeah, that was definitely enough roaches. What I think happened here is you were thinking again, which is a classic problem with Mr. Laser Eyes and Diamond Players and Advanced Platinums in general. He's like, oh, it's a cannon rush. Okay, Nidus. Yes, but like, there's a difference between one cannon at your natural and half a dozen shield batteries with a warp prism. This is like, a, it, there's a difference in scale here. But as soon as the first cannon was, like, as soon as we got a glimpse of one cannon, immediately the path was set. The reason we put overlords in certain places is to make it so we don't make such ridiculously uninformed decisions. Like one, uh, doing a nidus again against a non-existent cannon rush, and two, uh, sending into angry coach. Oh, I'm sorry. Is now a good time to long distance mine? Did you not have enough mineral patches for these boys? You just couldn't find the space over there? Oh, no. So here's the thing. You might be like, well, isn't he ridiculously far behind? Remember, this is a cannon rushing AFK for the first 20 seconds of the game, building cannons to defend the Nidus Protoss player. The answer is no. He's not actually out of this yet until he starts long distance mining with only 9 out of 16 in his main. His, his opponent is long distance mining as well for only slightly more valid reasons and with a gas. Like, let's not, let's dispel with the rumor that because he's a diamond player means we're working along the lines of like parting versus Rainer or something here. No, no, no. Either player could go AFK, go find their big brother who actually knows how to play StarCraft, bring him back to the goddamn computer, and it's very likely that brother of theirs would win. But, let's be honest here. That brother might not have gotten involved, because the reason they sent in Angry Coach was finally for some attention, and as the middle child, you didn't get enough of that, did you? Why are you scouting him? He just showed you his void ray. You're like... But I need to scout his base. No, he just killed your overlord with a void ray. I wonder what he's doing. Well, I'm scouting. It's very important. Oh, is it void rays? It's like, well, it could just be one void ray into a tech transition. That is a fair point. Yeah, it's over now. So the summary is, do not panic. Put your overlords in the right spot. Proportional response. Only if they commit to more than like three cannons is when you do a nidus. Otherwise, you can break a cannon with lings and queens. If he has one cannon, or even two, at your natural, don't be like, well, fuck it, Nidus it is. And if you are gonna get a Nidus, maybe try to dodge the cannons. I don't know. I, I mean, let's be honest. I didn't... I, getting outflanked by cannons is exactly what I expected of you. But it's still sad. Like, it doesn't decrease the sadness just because you expect it. Shame. And there's no hopes. You know what, actually? Despite that, though, the hope score is a C+. Because 
while the response was bad and poorly uh poorly executed there was a decisive response once again a bad one but instead of just uh, i don't know zerglings i guess lair i'm bailing now uh, fuck it there was a decisive response it was bad but decisive so that gets you the plus bad though it's better than nothing at all but still bad actually I gotta I gotta reel that in it it wasn't a bad response most of the the worst part of it was how badly it was executed like the first night is okay but the next two nights is both getting hit by cannons that was when it took a turn from like this was an okay idea to what are you doing I got Just made it to Masters 3 last Friday. And, and this is just for my own advertising. You, Queasel, you said you used the low APM challenge as a essentially a template uh, in order to get to Masters. Um, is that correct? No APM in the building, then change to different builds, as you should. Uh, you should the idea is to teach you how to learn and what to look for so you can make your own decisions as Opposed to this is the build you follow. Let me hold your hand and take you to the promised land my friend but uh, Congratulations on that. Let's see What's still left to do? If you stop, okay, win 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 looks like the sons of core hall one here well, let's look at the matches. PVT. Thank you, Walls. So, PVT, a better demonstration. Let's see what goes wrong here. New subscriber detected. A lot of Protoss players, I'll tell you the big, the big issues at lower masters, which is myself much of the time, uh, is one underestimating bio, just generally. And two, not getting either your secondary tech or additional gates in time. And that means bio's going to be under, but you're just not going to have enough. SC2 replay stats has dark mode? No, the internet does, though. The one I'm using is called Dark Reader. And hopefully, it doesn't sell my data to particularly un unsavory individuals. But speaking of, subscribe to Twitch Prime. Okay. Alright, alright, we get it. You're no longer doing the low APM challenge. But... Save it for a rainy day, my friend. Yeah, this, Beyond did this in GSL. 
I think we can expect that many Terran players will go for the NG Bay block now. So, just build a Zealot. Just build a Zealot. I think Parting responded to it pretty well. You just build the Zealot. This is a shitty as fuck game. Well, your PVT win rate is 40%. And this was the last loss you had, and it was from a couple days ago. And you sent me your account. So, is not what you're here for, learning how to avoid shitty as fuck games? This was the first time I encountered it? Well, you're gonna encounter it more, since Beyond got out in first? What the fuck? But the answer, I would recommend you're high enough level to learn something. Go watch both Patience and Parting versus... Wait, was it Patience versus Beyond? I believe so. He won that match, right? I don't remember. Um, yeah, Beyond, there's plenty of TVPs and how the Protoss responded. Is the Reaper getting nerfed? Beyond didn't make a single Reaper. Beyond just, in fact, I think this guy, because this was played according to the date. That second pylon. But, I mean, come on. Pylon, efficiency, and necessary infrastructure. Safety. Think about it. Is this a useful pylon? This is, this is a fucking Platinum League pylon. You know that. You know you're supposed to have a pylon to be able to put a shield battery in the mineral line at a relatively timely manner. And you know that's a platinum weight gateway as well. Save those you must an adept does not kill an engineering bait. Construct additional pylons. This is, I feel like you're so busy doing fucking. Okay, I guess camera looks. That you're not thinking. You've interrupted any basic thought processes. Technically, to get to this stage of the game, you only actually need like 15 actions. Okay, maybe 25. You've made like 1,200. Okay, not quite that. You've made like 600. Like, think of how many probes, pylons, gateways you've built, and how many times you actually had to move them. Did you really need those? Yeah, the answer is Zealot. I mean, I guess we're gonna go past, because if this is the first time you see it. But the fact that we're building an Adept in a second gateway... This is not like a, okay, now I'm doing all in. This is a does not compute response here. This is a, uh, and then <laughs> reverting to platinum. The first I'll tell you that you got to go watch. Like, you, this is what's going to happen in TVP. Everybody's doing it. If Beyond does it, remember, Beyond went to the military for a year and a half and came back. And during that entire year and a half, Diamond Terran players and Masters have been doing the same build, mostly the 2-1-1, and maybe builds that Beyond was doing a year and a half before he left. Like, Beyond was no longer doing the 2-1-1 when he left for the military. He's now back, and he's still not doing it, but people are like... So Beyond comes up with a new, very replicatable move, like... NG Bay blocking, which TY would do occasionally, but be on every single game NG Bay block, so it's it's uh it's gonna happen. I'm just putting that out there for all you Protoss out there. Yeah, we're just like like it's it's an engineering bay, and it's not Bronze League Heroes, like it's just an NG Bay. Oh god. So, what's more important, microing your adept or trying to get your stalker within spitting distance of this? Like, killing one SCV- Now this is just- this is- <sighs> Donation confirmed. What are we expanding now? 
Research finished. I don't mind the one bla base blank as a play. You know what? This is a more coherent response. Like, Need same as laser eyes. While decisive. And that is... That is a supply lock right there. Mmm. Oof. That is a very important supply block to not have because, and this is your justification if you need one, Terran players, and also Zergs, but mostly Terrans, for why there's a select all warp gates hotkey. Okay? So warp gates cannot be queued up, they cannot be banked up, they're not like larva or barracks. If you don't use a warpin as it comes off cooldown, you don't get any benefit. It doesn't, like, you don't build charges. It's just gone. You just wasted time. So getting supply block right as your gates finish or as you're going to warp in a round of stalkers, that has just blocked you for another 18 seconds minimum. And while it's not as bad as it could, like, okay, we get it. Your supply block. Maybe, oh my god. Bro, you have blink. The thing is, if you had just blinked all the stalkers up, then I think you can kill the tank. Probably, I think that's two volleys to kill the tank. Wait, no, you don't. He doesn't have blink. I'm dumb. All right. So. In which case, I don't know if that's worse. I'm, he's pretty sure he had blink. And so was I, but he didn't. The problem is we've already kind of showed that blink is happening. Oh, my God. Oh, it's getting worse. He has mo- Oh, no. Well. No, no, eh, that's not a bad, oh, hmm, yeah, generally, so the NG Bay block costs him like 40 minerals, it costs you multiple minutes and half a dozen stalkers, so just, I don't mind the one base blink, but it's not happening, like, it's, it's not happening, you already have four gates, or three gates, okay, whatever. You can't afford Robo Bay and four gates and charge off of a fresh two base. I mean, I guess if you don't build probes, maybe. Or well, what's the Robo Bay for? You're getting extended thermal ants, which is usually for Colossi. But I prefer it for your mom. Like, you know what? Research complete. Have we learned? One, I need you. I need you to go back to the 100 APM challenge. I want you to spend the first five minutes. Okay, you know what? I'll give you this. First three minutes under 100 APM. And then you can do whatever you want. But I need you for the next 10 games to stay under 100 APM for the next... I can do that. Literally do less. My mom is like 60 at this point. Well, uh... I think she said 69 next month, but I don't have a birth certificate, so. Check the replay. Find that play button. Throwing out the well played. So, one, go watch those Vons. I can actually, congratulations, I can recommend GSL videos um, to be actually useful. Two, you gotta like lean on something, either like Double Robo, Colossi, or Templar, 
It's not gonna be both. It's gonna be one or the other. You have to just lean heavily into one. You can't afford both. You won't have enough units. Because it... So you found the workaround of the not GGing. You see, I tell people you should GG not for them but for you. Because if you have to do like a mental calculation every single game about whether or not you played well and determine whether or not you GG, then who does that hurt more? You or them. Mentally. Uh, there was a time early on when I was a 17-year-old fuckboy. Shout out to Rainer. Uh, that I didn't GG every game because I was like, well, I didn't play well, so it wasn't a good G, good, good game. It's like, it's not my, well, that, not a very healthy mindset. Uh, this is the interesting workaround for that of well played. Like they played well, but I didn't, I wouldn't, I mean, if it works for you, this is an interesting middle ground on that. But, uh, sure. Overall, like, it's like a B, B minus there. But only because of the response. We're in Masters. You have to be able to respond to build. Like, you have to actually scout and figure out what range of things to respond with. And that was well out of the range. But, it, I was impressed by the decisiveness of once once we got to a build like the decisive i guess your name is storm but i'm getting robo bay i'm getting a templar archives i'm getting a third we kind of missed out on the having units part and also wait like if you go one base and do nothing to a terran who just one racks expanded they're just gonna have way more shit than you and uh you know my thoughts on that so So go watch that GSL video. We have the Abyss. Who is a Diamond Protoss. How convenient. Another Protoss versus Terran. Oh, a few hundred MMR lower. It looks like something goes horribly wrong here. New subscriber detected. Hi, Winter. Thank you, Strangelet. Winter, you're not a very angry tonight. I, I guess I say it if nobody else does. Somebody, somebody say it so I can just throw it out there like I'm angry at Chet. Having a... Like, what angers me more is not having a response. It's like just kind of freestyling with no plan in a game that requires a delicate and intricate plan to be adjusted constantly. Especially at the higher level. But so far, Laser Eyes, he had a plan. Bad, very bad plan. Okay, bad. Mediocre plan, very bad execution. Storm panicked, but had a decisive plan. Just didn't have nearly enough to implement it with. So, like, I can't get mad at people who at least have an idea of where they want to go. I get mad at people who have a plan that's uh, less thought out than my four minute, like, the first four minutes of a build order guide, which is a total of like a 12 minute video. Become a raging alcoholic? I haven't gone outside for alcohol in, or just generally, in like six months, once or twice. But, um, while defilers, uh, are not active in SC2. They're still around in Brood War. So. Plague. There's no there's no curing it. Not even for the Terrans. They just kind of outheal it 
and hope they live. Have you had alcohol delivered? That sounds like extra effort, but maybe, maybe I'll Google it. But for now, we'll have to have, it's worse when you're sober. All right, Use, it used to be like we get four or five hours in and, and then I'm like, all right, I'm no longer putting together complete sentences because I don't need to. But now it's like seven hours and I'm just exhausted, which not as fun. But more effective, I guess. So what have we seen? Actually walling off. How fancy. But you gotta lay off the drinking, bud. You're going downhill. <sighs> okay. Why there? With the battery, though. I mean, maybe for a wall, but... With what seems to be a one base, and this is not a one base, and this is details. A shield battery is probably better, like here. So that way, if it's something that threatens your mineral line, it can help with that, like a banshee. Um, and also not vulnerable to a direct push. Whereas, uh, a battery out here only helps, obviously, this area. So if he does anything but a direct push, while it might make it a little easier to wall, it's kind of a waste. After watch- aside from watching, I get the zealot followed by an adepter stalker. Do I push across with the zealot to delay, or keep it at home to zone the reaper? There was no Reaper that last game. Beyond never builds a Reaper in his builds. You're 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 behind the times. Maybe watch and then ask your questions. That's my point. I mean, I'm sure some people will build a Reaper with it, but the build itself, if people are copying Beyond like they definitely will, doesn't have a Reaper. Okay, okay. This is another one. An interesting day we're having. We have another player who saw very little and has drawn sig significant conclusions. We are convinced that this man is doing a strong one base, probably tank push. He is not. Um, he is expanding. And, uh, doesn't really have anything, so. Yeah, the two gas is a bit of a tell, but until you see where the factory is, like, you can keep the probe around for a while. Uh, two shield batteries is not a huge commitment. Okay, like, fat lot of good that shield battery did for walling off, eh? If you build your pylon a little further back, just build it where you'd build it in PVC. You're like, I'll build it here in PVC. Well, then you wall off poorly. They didn't get in because of the Reaper nade, right? They just ran. They just ran by. I'm pretty sure. The Reaper nade, okay. You fancy? That's what force field would usually be used for, but your research is complete. Hmm. Oh, the Reapers just slipped by. The Hellion doesn't. Uh, it does now. <laughs> so, that was way more damage than it ever needed to do. It wasn't bad, but like... Maybe figure this whole idea out. 
if you're gonna wall off and that happens, it's a lot worse than if you just don't even try. Honestly, if you hadn't tried to wall off, the units probably would have been in a better position to act to shut this down, but I don't mind the walling off. It's only when they just run by it. Ah yes, the classic please drop my robo bay, baby. Like, if you would. If you could get a real quick drop in here and snipe my extended thermal lance, that'd be awesome. Oh, also my, my Twilight. And also my Forges. Go in his main with the Ops. Go see. Did, did we see the Raven before? Because the Raven would have killed it. But at least you know he have a Raven. He'd have, he'd, he'd have a Raven. He has a Raven. That's it. Mm -hmm. So tense. But you want to know what he's doing with his starport. We haven't figured that out yet. It could be Cloak Banshee. We don't know. It could be a Liberator. Could be one of those stupid delayed mind drop built. <laughs> oh, scans. Let the boy watch. Okay, well now we know. Just give it a sec, I do go into main. Yeah, because the raven showed up. Good reaction time on that though. I will give I will give you good minimap awareness. Oh wow. Alright. I didn't realize this makes complete sense. Real quick. Uh, just quick aside everyone. Not this this so i want to give a shout out to bad nick uh bad Mi nick who's um uh constantly promoting essentially other people's streams and just saying remarkably awkward things for finally uh searching for his mmr in the chat shout out bad nick great time um you're like, he doesn't seem to have any self-awareness. Uh, he doesn't really understand what's happening, or he chooses not to, but instead just goes on saying things. And you're like, Winter, can you believe that guy is a platinum zerg? That is the most believable thing I have ever seen. So, congratulations on platinum. Um, and keep on keeping on. Enemies in your base. Looking for your artosis spot. Okay, so the Colossus, by the way, is uh kind of an important fucking part. Like the fact the Colossus isn't in this fight until after half of the units are dead. Oh my god, he misclicked the immortal. Disparaging viewers for content. I like the word. That's a good word. Also, it's literally called Angry Coach. Research complete. It's not limited to the game, uh, both in game StarCraft and the players who send it in. It's anyone involved. They're attacking your base. Give On any topic. Upgrade is complete. Upgrade complete. So who would win? One tall Omega robot of fire or one little temporary shooty boy? But at what cost? Temps. But, but. Just like every disruptor shot that feels good, 
It had to feel so bad before it. The only reason 90% of those disruptor shots happen at a higher level is because the damage was already done. Research is done. So we take the worst of both worlds. There's a reason you put the observer. So here's what he did. One, you do go into his main with the observer after the raven provokes you, and it just stays there. He just walked across! The map is dark and full of Terrans! And he just walked up and murdered everything! You have five observers! You have five fucking observers! There are five observers! And you didn't see his entire goddamn army just trouncing across the map to kill everything you own! You did everything right, except the most important thing, which is, does he have his entire fucking army walking across the goddamn map because he scanned you and you so boldly slapped a third right in front of his scan? Like, we have an observer scouting the dead Nexus. We got an observer scouting for drops. We got an observer scouting his main. We got an observer scouting the secondary attack path. But God forbid... But, uh, t t Tassadar forbid that he just walks across. This is a whole lot. This is a book smart Protoss right here. He's studied the blade. Or the blades, depending on which unit he prefers. Um, but at the end of the day, like, he just came up. Like, you were expecting him to stab you in the back, and he punched you in the face, and that is unacceptable. No, no, no. Not expect the unexpected. This was the most expected thing he could have done. He just walked up with his army, as he would, and killed you. A very key point is that he can just attack. Yes, I know he's a Diamond Terran, and technically he's contractually obligated to try to drop you with two medevacs at any time for no reason. But this guy, this guy never signed the contract, okay? He signed it with like a, a Rose Art marker that faded in six months because Rose Art is for children whose parents don't love them. And since he's a Diamond Terran, he's used to that. So what did you expect? He does drop the entire army into my main after I kill this attack. Oh, you kill this attack, do you? No, no, no. The time for killing this attack has passed. It is already over. You do not kill this attack. You kill the survivors who are reveling in their victory. Clem does a lot of drops too? Yeah. Clem, Clem could fucking jump off a bridge into, like, James Bond style, into a life raft, that he then, like, doggy paddled his way to an island where he constructed a computer and faced you on the fucking ladder with Starlink internet and still win. Like, this, we're talking real options here. Your forces are just a little bit better. Ah, yes, that was the blink. This is why we got the blink upgrade, everyone. This is why blink is a good upgrade to get. After I kill this attack. You took all the minerals from that cluster, you thief. Go back. Go back to your archives, Mr. Templar. So, I think I think your knowledge and uh, like like your your tenacity and your methodical approach to the game has gotten you this far. But there's still the obvious, like, gold protoss at heart here. Like, no, 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 I still got this. No, no, you do not have this. You do not have any bit of this. You lost it all at the third. One bit after another. The game, a self-respecting, I don't blame you for this. And I'm fine with not doing it. But it would have been perfectly acceptable and usually expected to GG after the third died. But... 
credit to you, my friend. We still got two minutes in this game, so. So what he said was he does a lot of drops after I kill his army. What he meant was he drops the army that did not get killed. And he just fucking flies around to the back door of my house from the front. He walks around the third base garage and he just drops in and shoots me through the windows. That's, that's what he meant when he said he does a lot of drops after I clean his army. Just another replay to send in. See, I had a better build than you, but... <laughs> So maybe consider that he could walk across the map and kill you. You did all the little things right. But everyone has a plan till they get punched in the mouth. Hey Winter, glad to be back. It was a good plan. Don't get punched. It's me. New subscriber detected. Never lose track of the most obvious place he could attack you. Like, just because you're so used to Diamond Terrans who drop for no discernible reason besides their insecurities doesn't mean that's the best move. Speaking of Terrans who do things for no discernible reason besides... Their insecurities, we have Kybrit playing Protoss. Kybrit, congratulations on Platinum. Um, by the way, for the uh, I I saw it on Terran. Kybrit finally embraced learning how to improve. Um, and by that I mean three raxing. So um keep it up. Anyone can do it, literally. I'm sure there are chimpanzees who are better trained and could get higher on the ladder, but... All hail Lord Hybrid. Look into Comcast Business Fiber. They don't have it here. But there is a fiber company coming to where uh, I am within the next year or two. Hopefully. I mean, they are literally like two miles away. And they've been expanding their infrastructure, and there's another one planned for next year. So, we'll probably be switching to that. But, still can't beat Clem from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean that he sailed to, Napoleon style. But, uh, <laughs> we'll try. Okay, so this is not the build. This is not a build. I don't think Napoleon sailed anywhere. I'm pretty sure he did some sailing. I don't, I don't think he was the one, like, controlling the sails. But there was sailing involved. Like, it's not like he wasn't on a boat. He had fear of water. Anyways. What are we doing? Oh yeah, here we go. Cannon rush into Blink Deets was my so-called plan. Now I have your yeah. attention. Whatever you say. So, while this is for Protoss versus Terran, technically, I mean... Pylon, 16 Pro, Chrono Boost, Build a Gate, Scout with the Pro, 17 Assimilator, 2 more so Probes, good. 19 now Probe can attention. go down the ramp, if he's already there, build a Cyber Core instead, now 21 Gas, 21 Pylon, 22 if you won't attention. forget, but you will forget, so stop fucking around, 
on the other side, does he have a gas? Yes, oh, then you need follower. maybe two build units. But if he has a Rex and just one gas, you're fine. Stop freaking out. Where's your second pylon? You need a pylon. You are platinum. Do you want to be diamond? Well, guess what? Fuck. You build a second pylon. Where's your second pylon? You need a second pylon. Build a second pylon. You you may the takeaway may the takeaway people have obviously had is I really need a second pylon. We've seen a, a surge. Definitely I would describe it as a surge in second pylons. But the entire rest is describing when and why to build a second pylon, or in this oh, case, a good. first pylon, now and that kind of just gets glossed over. Like, you're not, you're not, it's like thinking like, like born in the USA is a patriotic ballot. It's like, sure. All right, like, you subscribe <laughs> That is, um, you do need a pile on the cannon. I will give you that. Uh, where you put that pile on is up to you. What if he didn't wall? Well, he did. I respect your life choices, but you simply can't walk in there. Uh huh. Then on your so it appears to be kind of oh my. Despite your best efforts, it is working. Oh, we're gonna send more probes. Maybe should have sent. Oh, by the way, thank you for gifting 20 subs to the people. V triple, thank you for the generosity. Um, giving them something with which to look forward to after being inflicted with this. You gonna send a third probe? You gonna send another probe? I like how not just DTs, but blink DTs was the plan. You know, like, he has stuck. Like, it wasn't DTs, it was blank DTs, oh, which is, you know, very committed. Base is under attack. Like AT sound. Did he attack his own did you attack your own pylon? Oh wow. Impressive. So like Kybrit's here essentially as a a very minor form of uh money laundering. Where he just gives me some dozens of dollars a week, and I pretend like he's ever going to improve at StarCraft. Um, and it's another week, and another sixty-nine dollars, and now we're here. Mm-hmm. I mean, at any point up until we built that pylon, could have afforded the Dark Shrine. Had the minerals. Seriously, isn't it viable to go blink DT and avoid enemy robot? No, this isn't a campaign mission. I don't, I, they have plenty of non-robots. For the record, that's not my question. Um, yes. We're literally reading off of the record. We can see it. Thank you, Kybrit. And now, even with less context here. Research is done. Let's hope you put it on. I was away from keyboard. So I just, like, somebody whispered in my ear and you're responding to that. Or I was posing potentially a hypothetical and attributing it to you, which is not unheard of. I'm here in the shadows. 
Your pro count is I will not be misrepresented. Okay. I went blink DTs not because I was trying to avoid robots or anything, but because that sounded like fun. And also, I had no plan. There was not any rationale whatsoever. Let it be known for the record that I went blink DTs because it makes me feel good on the inside parts. And for no other reason. Thank you. Kyber. Downside, they're piling on your pylon. Was that more accurate? Wow, that looks Thank intense. You. Has Thank you. My Dark Shrine. You ever noticed how the Dark Shrine is just three DT faces? And they light up when they're upgrading? Thanks, Loco. Out of minerals, idle workers are so untidy. From the shadows, I come. You are fresh out of minerals at that point. From the shadows, out of minerals, idle workers are so untidy. It's at this point that Kybert remembers in order to blink to the high ground, you need high ground vision. Not just high vision. From the shadows, I come. This man has multiple robots. But you just upgraded your units. Maybe keep doing it. It is, it is beautiful with which, despite how close we were to unlikely and also unpredictable victory, we have spent a lot of effort in making sure, um, probably not actively, that instead of winning the game outright, there is still a chance to lose. The end, like, like, well, what could I have done? Maybe killed the Nexus. Instead of blinking into shield batteries and stalkers. The and then not killing any of them. Out of minerals. I don't oh my god, DTs do too much fucking damage. Wow, you mind the upgrades done? Look at you. You are fresh. Mineral field. Oh, it's so fucking stupid. It hurts so much. I have plus two at some point. I'm proud of you. Here comes the next tower defense wave. You just upgraded your units. Maybe keep doing that. That geyser is done. Your workers have lost their I mean, it's hard to lose from this stage. Oh, that... But never underestimate Kybrit. Wow. That geyser is fresh out of gas. The unit's is lost is, that, is still more. Oh, he has DTs. That's illegal. No. Now, those are actual Upgrade units. Complete. I don't think you're going to stop those. Fight to the last! Show them no mercy! Now if we had skipped the whole DT phase, then... It, no, it, wouldn't, it wasn't a good cannon rush. And it wasn't a good follow-up. And there's no reason we couldn't have just expanded to like a normal person. But why would you do that? I hope that felt good. I guess that's what we're here for. Thank you, Kybrit, for the support. As uh, it just generally, Dude, shame. Literally don't know what Shut you're up. About. Shame. Um, we already shame. had that down, though. So. Shame. Um. The first DT rush was good. No, it wasn't. It was not good.
Let us, just because it worked, doesn't mean it was good. It just means it was better than his opponent. And that's not the hardest bar to clear. The first DT wave wasn't good. It was just good at the moment. That was, like, for, I'm going to go ahead and assume gold Protoss. That's a C plus, though, because we're really embracing the power of Protoss. Which is, I mean... It, if it was any more cliche, that build, it would be the SC2 storyline. Because, like, cannon rush into DTs? Come on. Come on. Like... <laughs> follower is that all thanks winner for blh and the content for days i want to say you're like second dad to me am i your son next up is who's your dad oh i'm sorry razor the heck Who is a... <sighs> Gold! Zerg. But winning so many games that maybe not for long. No matter how hard he tries. Wait, wait, wait. Back to matchup breakdown. Uh, okay, we'll give him 30 days. Zerg versus Terran. A classic. The weakest matchup here. And a respectable amount of games for 30 days. 62-ish. So that, that works out to over 10. Well, over 15 a week. Barely. So. That is the recommended number for gold. Started at bronze three. How do you even do that? How is that possible? How does one start in bronze three? I'm impressed. You literally, like, well, literally, you couldn't have improved more. All right. Mm -mm -mm. We're too busy beating down all the Terrans lately, but the Punisher... The Punisher coming in. Which I will take this time just because it's always worth it. I have this t-shirt. You guys might have seen me wear it. But you guys like Heroes of the Storm, right? Actually, it's a fun MOBA. But let us take a moment. Um... Any opportunity for some carbot. I'm just, I just, we're just, just a quick aside. Use the carbot command. The zerglings are coming in soon. One of my favorite Hero Storm episodes. For those who don't know, we must capture this. Well, Actually, no context needed. Okay. This is our moment. Strike now, heroes. Terminated.
hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you like the <laughs> cartoons, a dollar at a... The Punisher. Where were we? Ah, yes. The inspiration here. With plenty of, uh... Oh my god. Wait, Jimmy, enhance! Enhance! Unenhance! This is the uh, army value line. Huh. Interesting. Huh. How is army value calculated? So each unit has a value in minerals and gas. And then you have two units and you add their values together. And then you get more army value. So like a zergling is 25 minerals, but two zerglings, it's 50 minerals. So. Ah, yes, yeah, an extractor trick. What a, I'm a man of culture myself. I think this game, I actually didn't try to change comps and I got smashed. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go out on a particularly strong limb. And and say, I'm not sure it's the unit composition. That's going to be the deciding factor in this match. But, we will see. Your base Your is under the the Queen's ready. Find a hatchery. Okay, so here... Where's our... Uh, Jimmy, get the binder out. Like, I could describe each thing, or we could just show it. Let's see. Da -na 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 -na. Here's our handy-dandy gold zerg breakdown. Mm, let's see. What are we gonna have? Creep spread, overlord, inja upgrades, injects, overlords speak English, maybe four mutas, YOLO lair, control groups, overlords can move, maybe just a few more zerglings. Turtle anything is unbeatable, and also so is yellow font. But what if I got more gas? So, like, as we see here, the Zerglings on the most important control group. The hatch is on zero. What are you, a Brood War player or a core user? Or a masochist? My point here is... Reaper! There's a Reaper! Reaper! Like, what about our Zerglings? Reaper! And that's pretty much how it goes. You have a new queen. Those hatcheries won't inject themselves. I have a mouse with cool buttons on it. Here's my recommendation. Don't. Like, using buttons for control groups seems like... I, I, any risk of moving your mouse to select hatcheries feels like it's not worth it. Reaper! I'm sorry. Oh, I do apologize. What's Brood War have to do? Well, in Brood War, if you played Protoss, your probe key was on P. I know this much. And you couldn't... Um, you couldn't rebind your hotkeys. So, a lot of Protoss bound their, uh, Nexus to zero, so they'd at least be close to where 
and then they'd just be jamming on their keyboard. And that's why Brood War players removed a lot of their keys, because they had to go flying across the keyboard. Because somebody with the most cutting-edge RTS design uh, the 90s could offer was like, well, Probe starts with P. Easy to remember. Like, <laughs> Also, people probably just click it anyways. So, uh... Yo, Lola! Back to the binder! Yo, Lola, there it is! Alright. Check that one off. Ah, yes, more gas. So what is our build here? I'm excited to find out. Are you? Yeah, we're dropping plenty of frames because apparently the the deep deep zerg doesn't want you to find out about this sick build. Super early. Well, he doesn't have speed. It was a. Uh, I have the gas. Our build is Roach and the Hydra. Our build. That's that's a brave statement, comrade. Queen's ready. Find a. Are you sure our build isn't? Forget Zergling speed, get 900 minerals and supply blocked at 44 because there's a Reaper! Have you ever seen a Reaper before? Can you believe he went Reaper? I mean, like, while that Reaper's in the base. Stop everything! Stop! Reaper! That's what, that's what it seems like the build is to me. But, sure, I'm, the build is Roach Hydra, right? But now the Reaper's gone. Okay, Reaper's gone. Macro time. Macro time. Or, uh... Oh, god damn. Not macro time, because the third hatch finished, and that provided some supply. So now we're not... Oh, yes. Very carefully, insert drones into gas, and now we're supply blocked with 1,400 minerals! Wow, look at the- I've never noticed this. I've never had the time to actually- Look at this, on the outline. That's crazy. It even has, like, the little mechanical parts of the simulant skin. Like, so this production tab is the key to gold, soon to be platinum, like, every single zerg. Pro, uh, here. You have 1,200 minerals. You're only making 1,500 minerals a minute. Okay, so... If you take the 1,500 minerals a minute you're making, and then you subtract 1,300 minerals, that leaves you with only 200 minerals, which is the percent chance that this build is a fucking disaster. By the way. You, you've played four minutes. And 40 seconds. And for a solid quarter of that, you haven't spent your minerals, and you weren't mining that many minerals before either. So technically, it's it's more than that. But three ovies. You guys ready for the amnesia lords? You guys know amnesia lords. Uh which is now we've built three overlords, which is a pretty reasonable number. But we're about to. Uh, well, the thing is, he's not spending his larva. We're individually... Okay, okay. Well, never mind. So, here we go. The classic! The classic! If you lose against someone whose first upgrade is high suck auto-tracking, you deserve every painful second. Every little tiny bit. Like, it, it's gonna hurt. Over and over and over again, and you deserve it. Because high sec auto tracking is indicative of a player who's gonna sit in their base and probably with 14 APM, okay, I'm sorry, 48 APM and IQ, build siege tanks on two bases, maybe with a random ass command center. 
He's building, like, he has one liberator. Otherwise, he's just going to build a bunch of turrets and siege tanks. And what I assume you're going to, you're going to do is explore all the creative ways in which siege tanks can still kill all of your units and then eventually die to battle cruisers. So, let's see how that looks. Okay. Um, that Liberator got 11 kills, which is a little high. And also... Oh my god. So, you have this cool mouse with all these fucking buttons on it. Because obviously you play World of Warcraft more than StarCraft. And in World of Warcraft, you micro one unit pretty well with a lot of socially inept teenagers or pseudo-teenagers. And right now, that seems to be the about, about the extent of uh, capability we have in StarCraft 2 as well. Which is microing one unit kind of well. And that's about it. With uh, the unupgraded marines walking in, and a single liberator with a devastating 18 drone slaying attack. And that might seem like critical damage, but then you realize, which we haven't yet, and we won't for a long while, that the Terran player is sitting in his base, and this cost him essentially nothing. If you can't defend yourself against the existential panic, that is induced when a single reaper, which 84%.3 repeating, of course, of Terrans will build. If that is the biggest distraction for over 30% of the first five minutes, and then when you're recovering from the devastating mental damage that was done both in your childhood and by that reaper, and also by playing World of Warcraft ever, which is the only reason I can assume you got that unless you play one of those weird ass JRPGs and pretend to speak Japanese like a fucking weeb. I'm sorry, I don't want to insult too much at the chat at once. But. <clears throat> Either way, those skills have not prepared you to do any sort of multitasking. That much is entirely obvious. And I'm not saying you need any multitasking. Um, but you need to be able to... And there's no such thing truly as multitasking. There's rotating through uh, a series of actions quickly enough to not lose a third of your economy. Like... You gotta be able to defend a Liberator and fucking eight Marines walking into your base without losing 18 drones and maybe a hatch. And if you cannot do that, I honestly, like, you built Queens, you had some drones, you did have a panic attack, but, like, I don't have a solution for you. There, I, I cannot offer you anything because... There is nothing I can teach you that's going to make you not lose those 18 drones. Like, well, I mean, I guess hotkeys. But that wouldn't help. Like, Selecto Army Hotkey doesn't work on Queens. So you'd think maybe we'd hotkey the Queens, at least. But the amount of time we spent corralling the Queens with the big lasso on our fancy-ass 9000 DPI box mouse. A ra I, I assume it's a Razor Naga. Um, let me, let me be once again very clear that this was the least attack. If this was, so Beyond's 2-1-1 drop that better players try to do hits at five minutes. Diamond players hit at like 5.30. With two medevacs of Stim Marines, what would have happened if this was two medevacs of Stim Marines at 5.30? You're just straight up dead. This was one Liberator and eight unupgraded Marines. I cannot stress enough how incredibly inept this was handled. Like, this was a total and utter disaster. But because the pro not the Protoss, the Terran is hitting you with everything he's got, which amounts to a, a toddler with a kitchen fork, the game will continue for a long while, I'm sure. Your base has some uninvited guests. Queen's ready. Find it. You lost a hatchery and all its drones to eight unupgraded marines. They just walked in there 
and burnt the place to the ground. That is unfucking acceptable. The guy is attacking you. Thankfully, we have enough minerals to get four more hatches, so not a huge concern. You are fresh out of minerals at that. And you might be like, "Well, I had enough minerals." Yeah, that's the fucking problem. Your Zerg have evolved and drop everything. Your units are getting killed. How many buttons does that fancy mouse of yours have? Be one? You said it had cool buttons. But you have one control group with that cool button. So, like, does it not have another button? Even mine with the, the has it has two buttons on the side, which I use for doing this. The drag scroll on the camera, which is more realistic, I think, because you need to move your mouse anyways. But... It has four on the side, so one out of four is fine, I guess. I've actually started putting the Evo chair. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Is this some sort of sick joke? You're like, well, I, I searched inside and I found another use for control groups. Evolution chambers. Maybe evolve a fucking brain. You came up with Evo Chambers? Like, you got you got a whole committee together? And you came up with Evo Chambers? The only thing that you could have put on the same hotkey? Because you could put your upgrade buildings on the same key and just tab through as your bases? The only one! You picked the only building that didn't need a new control group, if anything. Congratulations! You made a, a dramatic effort. You, after all this time and all this energy, you you found the one thing that was the most useless out of everything. I'm not sure if you should be on the ladder or in the White House at this point. And yes, we're going down that road because it's almost as much of a disaster. And I'm sure those siege tanks are going to make things even more fun. I'm married. This is nothing. Oh, I know. It's the fight you've all been waiting for. There's a fight? What, is someone dying? What? God save your gracious mineral field. Is it clean die? TB. Your base the other is guy attack. is attacking. Oh. <laughs> There's two marines. <laughs> There were two Marines. Okay. So this Terran is crazy. He took a third. So this, I mean, that's pretty much GG at this point. I gotta say, the Terran's doing pretty well. I remember when this was all evolution complete. This gets so much worse. What? Could you be specific? I would love you to be specific. Like, what part of this gets so much worse? I would like to know what you think is the worst part. I don't want to be? No, no. You've been specific thus far. I would like... Because my favorite part um, of many lower level players is when they have the specific reasoning. Like, some players are like, I don't know. It just kind of happened. And sometimes in my games, I'm like, I don't know. But, like, a lot of players, especially the ones who don't play many games, like remember it and, and could tell you like a like a story at the bar. They'll fill in the details. They have them, even if they're remembering them incorrectly. So, this is getting fun. I really think that we, as a group, would really benefit from experiencing it together. Ah, well said. All right, we'll circle back. The enemy is pruning your drone kits. Evolution. Um, will we ever discover more control? I, well, we already established that. I remember. Sure, whatever. 
returning to the ground part of the plan. Mineral field depleted. We maxed out. The sensor tower can still see you. You are fresh out of All right. Everyone prepare yourselves. Let me get some more appropriate music here. I'm just predicting. I'm not sure this is it, but let me um Don't just stand there. Shoot back. You looked at this. And yes, I know in many of the guides and tutorial things. Um, they're like, well, you should be able to just A-click across the map. And that is oftentimes true. There are exceptions. This is what we in the business call a fucking exception. Your forces are taking damage. The thing is, he actually broke through. I'll give you that. Don't just stand there, shoot back. This wasn't the moment of total disaster. Mineral field depleted. You have a new queen. Upgrades. Like, besides the fact that, as usual, the first five minutes looked like the um, finger-painting interpretation of an early game with the wrong colors and also taking forever as well. That wasn't... Oh no, oh no, he's attacking two places at once! That's illegal! Complete. Okay, okay, so we're gonna, like, just, I, do I really have to go over the mini-map again? Like, what if he has another base? I know him taking a third is already super impressive for gold, but remember, he's a platinum player. He takes a third on location, and a fourth, and a fifth. And then he sits there with tanks. You might be like, wow, this Terran seems pretty good. We're 15 minutes in the game. Like, Rainer and Clem would be on nine bases mining out by now. It's just that the early game took so long, it seems like this is crazy. But no, no, no. Like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's a point where... Don't just stop. They... Okay. You are fresh out of it. Mutation complete. Your base has some onion. Wow, you mind all those minerals? Your Zerg are now extra terrified. God I can't believe that died. Out of your forces are taking damage. I remember when this was all. Queens, wow, if you don't protect your brother, how can we trust you with bugs? We must place that on. Let's be guys are exhausted. They're trampling all over your beautiful garden of mineral field depleted. I remember when this was all mineral. Now look at it. The other guy is attacking you. That hardly seems fair. If you don't protect your drone, how can we trust you with the fun stuff? I don't want to alarm anyone, but the base is being attacked. Well, fresh out of minerals at that point. Mineral field depleted. Oh, now we're turning around? Now, after all this? Is that me playing Terran Kybrit? No. This guy took a third and expanded like a normal person and mildly efficiently. Not like someone who has exhausted every other option and has accepted that they may need to acquire more minerals sometime in the future. So, 
that wasn't like as we usually see many players of the lower levels look like they skipped halfway through a build order guide and were like okay i'll take it from here this wasn't exactly like that this was just lacking many of the basic rts mechanics of using control groups basic multitasking um doing anything well there's a reaper on the map it it was a classic uh a classic pre-platinum zerg you're well set for platinum when instead of just not doing anything when the reaper shows up you just continually make zerglings and then since you have so many zerglings you attack and then you lose all your zerglings so obviously you gotta make more zerglings uh we're not there yet the macro, Donation once tonight. there were no more units to attack because he went for fucking high sec auto tracking, wasn't terrible. I think it's a B. I think you will get to platinum. And I think you'll have a nice long stay there at this rate. It should be shame, but that's too much effort. All right. Like, it's hard not to get a, a passing grade in gold. He spent his money, he maxed out, and then he ran into siege tanks. But against the other races, they don't have siege tanks. Or at least they don't build the equivalents in a timely enough manner. I think, and the other races don't have one Reaper to interrupt the whole first four minutes of the build. So, um... Like, when you consider that, I think it becomes pretty obvious that uh, he's going to make it there. See you in Diamond next week? That's not what I'm saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. That's that's probably why the first five minutes are like that. What I'm saying is you'll get to Platinum. Speaking of, Guidebot is a gold Zerg against a Platinum Terran. So, here we go again. Yeah, you can, it's not, I think a lot of people misinterpret and, I mean, there are a lot of simple people, but there are a lot of people who, black and white, the world isn't Fifty Shades of Glaives. Um, well, the world is, rather. But, just like it, StarCraft is not like either you're a macro or a micro player. A lot of people, when I say, well, you can't just get to Diamond doing this. There's a difference between learning to play Zerg in diamond and learning to play a build to diamond like i'm sure you could figure out a solid uh, no regret inspired pressure with 18 drones and as many roaches as you can slap out there and get to diamond with it but you haven't learned to play zerg you've learned to play that roach build whereas um usually what i encourage and is more uh reliable is actually learning how to play rather than learning how to play that roach build. So. Every every race has their build. Proxy Rex, Cannon Rush. There's a wide variety of, well, this is my build and I'm very good at it. Korea is actually very full of that. Um, even more than NA and EU. There's a lot of gold players who are really fucking good at one base blank stalkers and have never played a game or won a game where they built another Nexus. There you go. Winter should get an Instagram. That's a great idea. From Noobs View SC2, a classic. I mean, it is a Noobs View. Noobs not well known for their information gathering skills. Ah, uh, that is fair. Why is Kybrick cost $99? Because I'm deciding to extend him a discount today. Can I send in for Angry Coach? Yes, fuck you, pay me. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Pool first. I guess we could say, but it's submarine, but this is gold. Cool. Wow, using the Han and Horner announcer pack, that is, that is something. Interesting. You don't see that every day, or hear it. So, we're now, we now have, we're going to build eight lings. So what is that for? Why are we building eight lanes? It gets old, I'll be honest. Yeah. It got old after like the second exchange in the campaign. Oh, we're gonna build 12 more lanes. Okay, so we're just gonna build these lanes. Why are we building the lanes? You're gonna come here, you're gonna send me a replay. You're gonna be like, look at me, I, I built a bunch of lanes. No wall. Let's just assume. So, he's right. Okay, let's hold back. Um, let's, I, let me, I'm gonna repeat myself, as I always do. Uh, and just, I gotta just accept that. I somehow haven't accepted after seven years as a full-time streamer that I'm gonna say something a hundred times. And then the very next opportunity at which someone who should have heard it they didn't like it's like uh i go play rocket league i'm grand champ at rocket league now i'm just gonna use any opportunity i'm actually higher ranked in rocket league than uh c2 um unrelated just throwing that out there thanks mango um but it's like wait where did starcraft go after i'm like all right Hope you guys enjoyed the fucking seven hours of StarCraft. Gonna play some Rocket League. It's like, Winter, what is this StarCraft update? Oh, very clever. Um, so I've said that the reason why this all rolls back. The reason why so many Zergs get to Platinum, but hit a wall there, is because at Gold, Terran and Protoss, up to Gold, Terran and Protoss either don't build one or fail to build one. So Zergs rush their way into Platinum and then ram their head directly into a wall just like they did when they were two years old. So here we see our Zerg player, Guidebot, in gold. And, and it's nice to get the direct motivation here. At least Hackman was pretending to follow some sort of macro guide. He's like, well, there's no wall at the net! Yeah, we're three fucking minutes in. It'd be pretty weird if there was. Like, there's not gonna be a wall at the net. There's no build that makes a, a wall at the net. Um, so there was never going to be. So it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy here. Like, well, there's no wall. Yeah, no shit. Um, there's that. Uh, but you know what? 24 hours. I'm just done with him. He's a Platinum Zerg as well. Uh, so we have enough right now that we don't need more in the chat demonstrating their stupidity in particularly unoriginal ways. But speaking of Guidebot, just because there is... What about the top of the ramp? What if he walled off the top of the ramp? Which he did, like every fucking person does. What then? I'm If you just build... If you get up to the top of the ramp, my misguided friend... Now, Guidebot is not subscribed. Guidebot is not subscribed. And you don't have to subscribe to submit to Angry Coach. But Angry Coach is a minimum of $15. Subscribing is $5. What's the difference? If you're not subscribed, I'm assuming you're sending me your replay without ever watching any of the free educational resources you can find if you have a any sort of fucking brain who can Google the most searched things in all of StarCraft. You could just, like, Google. Let's do this. Okay, Google. Search StarCraft 2 Guides. Siri, search StarCraft 2 Guides. 
Alexa, search StarCraft 2 guides. Congratulations, that much was free. Yeah, I just saved y'all $15. You're welcome. Who came up first? Detected. Thank you, Brett Acolyte Toast, Toast Malone, for muddying it. But what that means is somehow you decided that sending in Angry Coach was a good idea without ever watching a single one of both the gods or Angry Coaches before. You thought that, well, this seems like it'd be fun. Like, he gets angry at people. And yes, I am angry. But for the most sad reason. Just the... And, and what makes me the most angry is the lack of any effort put in. And the attempt to... I, I, I honestly don't know what people get out of it. Because he does win this game. Mr. Godbot does win this game at the end. Because his fragile ego wouldn't allow anything else. But this is exactly what I tell people not to do. At no point have I said, here's a Zergling build, you should see if he has a wall at the natural and just go fucking wild. And in fact, you don't even know if there's a command center down there because the Overlord ain't far enough. But sure, we're just gonna make a bunch of goddamn Zerglings, YOLO across the map and hope for the goddamn best and then send this replay in like some sort of... Uh, like, what, what do you want? You, obviously, you don't have the money to get into Stanford, so you're like, well, if I want to pretend to get an education, well, then Angry Coach is where I need to go. That's where we are now? Okay. Oh, did he wall off the high ground? What a fucking original proposition. If you build a Baneling Nest right now, I'm leaving. We're done. I guess he won't build a Baneling Nest because just building Hellions is the counter. My bad. I didn't think about how just building Hellions like every other Terran does. Literally every other. Not everyone builds Hellions, but half of them do. And now we're building more Zerglings because we died to the most common build in the matchup. You might be like, Winter, did he just queue up injects? Yes, he did. Like four of them. Which means he had the energy to queue up four injects. Your queen's ready for Get the fuck out of here! Shame. Shame. Burn it down, start Shame. again. Don't come back. Shame. Speaking of disasters. New subscriber detected. Peepasod. Naughty Elf is facing a gold zerg. I beat it with Ravagers after. I, and I really want to stress this point, okay? Don't care. All right, so just looking at the first seven minutes. Um. Mm-hmm. All right, Naughty Elf. In here, I saw a couple people asking. And there will be a VOD and eventually a YouTube video, usually. In case you do... You are hours behind. Thank you for sending in. We have Naughty Elf coming up. Mape, Chur, Fazzy, uh, Fazzy J, Shy Guy, Demu... A waltz? I'm not even counting here. Sizzle? Probius? 
Uh, smiles. That's it. Sounds like seven or eight. Do you ever make? Do you think you'll ever make a guide on how to counter Zest Four Gate Glaive Adept Build Berserk? I think Lambo made one. When I figure out how to counter it, uh, I'll consider it. One way or another, you got this. Alright, we didn't spend too much time setting up a waypoint to interrupt the build. I guess that's fair, he had a pull first. No, 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 like, no. Don't stop, Bill. No, 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 no. Why would that be the play? Why is that the play? He has six Zerglings. You kept your probe in the base. It died to six Zerglings. You're like, you know what I don't need is units. That's not a wall, by the way. Let alone whatever second. Like, now we can't build any more units because there's no second. Like... What? It's not a wall. Two. Why is this the counter? But it. But it looks like one. I mean, it might be. I don't think it is. But even then, it's not like a Stargate unit is gonna come out in time to deal with the Zerglings. I realized. No, no, no. It's not about whether or not you realized it was a wall or not. What you should have realized is that he has six fucking Zerglings that killed your goddamn probe. He's making Zerglings like a Gold League buffoon with no other plan. All you gotta do is stop the Zerglings. Let me reference our previous game. His only plan is Zerglings, and he'll make up the rest. All you gotta do is not take damage to the most obvious Zerglings in the history of StarCraft. And you're over here canceling a Stalker, which was the worst of all of the choices, but still better than canceling it to build a Stargate and then forgetting your second pylon. You are thinking again. Stop it. It's hurting you. Thank you, Tassadar. Holy fuck! Can you believe? The Zerglings are in my base now? How did this happen? Oh no! Oh shit! Pylons. And we can't even build units? Because we're supply blocked and he for some reason didn't go for the pylon, he went for the probes. Because he's like, how else am I gonna bank up a thousand minerals in three minutes? Pylons. Need more pylons. More pylons, more power to you. MORE PYLONS! I could I have said it any more clearly? Pylons are the powerhouse of the Protoss. What the fuck is happening? I'm still struggling with the micro a bit. Struggling is like, I don't know, like I lost like five probes. Not, I blacked out for 20 seconds with one zergling in my mineral line. That's not struggling, that's a condition. Donation confirmed. Hey Winter, watched a lot of your videos on YT. First time sending something in for an angry coach. Just getting back into SC2 thanks to you and I just I just wanted to see him at least head in the right direction. That's right good, that's good. Like a, a big part of StarCraft is just like getting a basic build down, like making sure you hit a lot of basic benchmarks, like linking the fucking replay. Glad you enjoy.
So one, no second pylon. Two, why is this the response to Zerglings? Three, this is why gold Zergs send in things and then get them cut off, is because they got to gold by their one Zergling getting multiple kills. Like, why did you stop? It's just one Zergling. It's one fucking Zergling. This isn't car bots. That Zergling doesn't have plot armor. <clears throat> Enemy is attacking the probes. How could you let this happen? No, no, no. You can't chrono boost it! Oh, what is wrong? I'm sorry. Now I've been I yelling so attention. much. That's, I have a I have a very shrill yelly voice. I do apologize. Oh, but I mean I mean I. Oh, it's so fucking stupid! It hurts so much. You can't chrono boost it through the supply block. This is like one of the stupidest, like the most understandable. I do empathize. Um. And this is one of the stupidest fucking things I've ever seen. Mostly because of how logical it is. Like, you can see the thought process here. You can see the panic. You can see the ideas. And you can see the total and, like, multi-step process towards disaster. Like, between the not walling... Between the actively not building units into not walling off. Into getting as hard supply blocked as you could be into kind of microing the probes and then panicking again into chrono boosting the void ray like you can see why he's doing all of it that doesn't make it any less of like a it's it's almost like a cartoon um clown it's like oh my god this is what you would do if you were trying to be funny it's like no it's now it's sad it's very sad um Probes are under attack. No, nope, the void ray is a It's a disaster. Like what I I honestly don't understand. What is happening? That that zergling has 5 kills. How long it's just been how how long? Also, do you know what a click is? is if you had a clicked instead of right He's right-clicking on Zerglings. Oh shit, he's a fucking Bronze League hero. That's the most classic Bronze League hero move, is not knowing to A-click your workers. Oh my god. It's not $15, you incompetent Terran. Look at the fucking screen. But it says 15 on the command. Not if you actually know how to read. At least Revenite got that. What does it say? Uh, or current price on the screen. Oh, uh, yes, but we only got that far, just like I assume your build did. What are you, gold? I'm actually going to check. We're going to check. He is. This is a replay, one, not of a Terran, two, from 2015. So, one, I can't watch it. Two, there isn't even a Terran. So... Wow. You must so yes, he's right-clicking the Zerglings. This would all have been solved with an A-click. Technically, you should add whichever is higher, because sending 15 does make the statement true. You know what? It says or. It should be, well, that, I mean, so technically you could argue that in a court of law, but this is not a court of law. I am the dictator, and I dictate that if you're too stupid to figure that out, that's a stupid tax, and you should pay it. Additional pylons. Oh my god, well, I guess we gotta give up. That Zergling just... <laughs> like, we pan away. It's like the cliffhanger at the end of a particularly shitty sitcom. Like... And then the Zergling slipped through their defenses. What is this, Scooby-Doo? And then they ripped the Zergling's mask off, and it was parting. I don't know. Those probes. Like, well, how did this happen? It's like, we just wanted to have them on and then use yeah, that for the trailer. Job. Like, we zoom in. One probe fights and dies. That's the link I sent. The game was from the other day. Um, yeah, that link. Okay, all right, all right. He is, he, I'm sorry, he's silver. 
So, and yes, it's 20 bucks. You sent 15. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought too much of him. Your probes are under attack. We're not yet at the point where we're charging double for Terrans under 3,000 MMR, but we'll get there, I think. The last couple weeks, we've had so many Terrans under 3,000 MMR with too much disposable income, I've decided they need to pay more. Um, but that's our first one today, because even Kybert sent in a uh, Protoss replay, so. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Do you know what attack move is? Like, I should turn this off just because he doesn't know what A move is. On top of the fact, like, we're going Void Ray first. By the way, none of this is good. This is, like, if you can't, and it's not even like six Zerglings just showed up. The probe died to the Zergling. The probe actively and, and thoroughly scouted the whole fucking base multiple times and then died to six fucking Zerglings. And we had a solid 30 plus seconds to just cobble together any response that wasn't terrible. And even if this was a hard wall, this would still be a terrible response. Let's make that clear. It's not a hard wall. It's not. Three buildings don't make a hard wall on most maps. Even if they're placed, like, side to side. And this map as well. But even if it was, it would still be stupid. Just only slightly less so. True, this was a disaster. And you're like, that's the one I'm sending in, Mr. I'm not subscribed, just like the last dude. Is it the last dude? No, different guy. Barely. Like, I think the best way to go is Void Ray first. With a fucking fleet beacon. Shame. Oh, it's so Shame. fucking stupid. It hurts so Shame. much. Need more Pylon. Yes, one base carrier. The reason we're not throwing this one out is because this is an original stupid. Like, this is... We don't see enough of the gold Protoss because usually they're too dumb to figure out how to send money in. Gold Zergs, on the other hand, are just about that level. Um, but Gold Zergs, they all play the same. Like, it's the stupid Zerglings into no other plan and then maybe eventually winning because the Protoss is equally, if not more, stupid. Or Terran or whatever. Um, but, the like, the we don't get too many Gold Protoss... Uh, but when we do, it's all, like, like, it's a treat, really. Um, it's original. It's, uh, it's like if someone painted the Mona Lisa, but with their own shit. Um, and poorly. It's like, ugh, but also, do a study on that person. Like, uh, or free up some supply. My life's work. You took all the minerals from that cluster. Yeah, everything about this is terrible, and none of it is something you should... If you are a lower-level Protoss player, if you've never played StarCraft, you still might do better than this. This is like... In no way, shape, or form, anything you should try to copy. Um, but let's watch for posterity. Honest question, why are the carriers a bad idea? Carriers aren't a bad idea. Only carriers with nothing else is a bad idea. Like, you might be like, well, I die to carriers all the time. Yeah, it's different. If you want hard counters, go play rock, paper, scissors. It very much matters the method in which we get the carriers, why we're getting the carriers, and what we're, we're intending to do with the carriers. Like, they're not battle cruisers. You can't just sit back here with a bunch of siege tanks and build battle cruisers and prey. Carriers are quite expensive, and they take some babysitting. This is why Terrans are the one who sit there like bitches, not usually the Proton. Yeah, that's not real. Carrier 
has arrived. And his name is John Cena. Who's gonna get in the ring and put boots down? You? This this are you kidding me right now? Tommy, are your base is crumbling under enemy attack. Upgrade is all An upgrade. Your base is under attack. Enemy is attacking the foot. How could you your have high the enemy in I like the panic zooms. You know you can disable zooming. Not that I think it would matter. He's gonna win, right? With mass carrier. Base is under attack. Recall, recall. Upgrade. The answer is corruptors, by the way. Not like 80 Zerglings, 20 Hydras, and a dozen corruptors. It's just corruptors. Patch is gone. We're probes. Defend them. I'm surprised we don't have a single cannon. So was he. Now it's time to build some. Mineral field depleted. So carriers are not like a. Carriers don't. Another big point of why it's usually the Terrans who are bitches is carriers don't have tactical jump. I guess technically they have recall. Thank you, Trent. Um, they technically have recall, not that we recalled it here. Uh, but you can't just jump away for free. You kind of just fucking die. And, um, well... And they're not a unit you split off like, I'm going to get four carriers here and four... No, no, no. The idea is get fuck you carriers or don't go carriers at all. Apparently you that's fuck you carriers. No more gas left in that guy's... Mineral field upgrade complete. But at what cost? actually worked this time. Shame. Shame. And no hope. Shame. I'm not gracing Shame. that. <sighs> Good luck. I hope you don't have fun. I reached platinum yesterday. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. You learned how to build a wall. Platinum Zerg. I actually made it to diamond, as it was foretold. As the prophecy foretold. I never know when to drone. Now I am done wasting my money, and then you send this in. Oh wait, I gotta get out of that last disaster. It's like, no, 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 Zeratul came to me with a prophecy where I should go one base carrier. And that was the only way to win. It's like, well, Zeratul needs to lay off whatever the fuck void spice he's been smoking. Jesus. So, up the in the reason you don't send the Overlord all the way in, but instead you want to leave it here, and also the second Overlord is supposed to go across the map in case the first one gets pushed away, so that way you can figure out whether or not 
He's building a whole ton of Zerglings. But the Overlords and ZVZ are kind of fucking important. I guess we're just building Zerglings. So now we just have all these Zerglings. Okay. Now I have your sure. I can next to. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, the overlords are possibly the most important part. I never know when to drone. Well, maybe having any idea if he's sending 40 zerglings across or taking a third would help. But that's information which we are incapable of gathering. The over like if you never know when to drone, here's your real answer. The overlords tell you, or at least m tell you most of the story, and then a couple zerglings can tell you the rest. That zergling scout got a lot killed, but. Yeah, that lair is quite late. You know, we could have built that lair a lot quicker if we didn't build like a dozen banelings. They're not all here now, so I guess technically we use some. Like, how have you managed to get Overlord? This is just like that, uh, that Protoss player near the start. It's like, how about he could just walk across the map? Have we considered that option? We got overlords back here. Got overlords over here. We even have one over here now. But like, what if he just attacks your third? Thankfully, there's enough units here. Surprisingly. No, no, no. No, not all of your roaches are needed. I see the attempts here. For the most part, you were droning at the right time. Maybe besides the... It, well, the third was late. The lair was late. But you were droning at the right time, but not so much because you knew what he was doing, but because you got lucky. You can take educated guesses, which is sometimes what higher level players will limit you to. This was not one of them. Fifty-one drones, fine enough, in ZVZ. Mineral field depleted. Our boss mineral is under attack. Metamorphosis complete. Does this look like a good idea? But I have Hydras and one Lurker! Did you check his upgrades? What are his upgrades? We can see in the production tab, plus two carapace, but does he have plus two attack? He does. Spoilers. I mean... Fine, you can fight in, but if you wait 15 seconds, then the entire fight you have plus two. It's not like there was any distinguishing factor before that. If it was closer, that would have been a disaster. But I'm going to go back because this was a details game. Well, one, here's what you do. What you do, you go watch Sarah vs. Rainer right now. And you might be like, well, Cyril and Rainer are way too good for me. Well, their overlords don't move any faster than yours. Go watch Cyril vs. Rainer, Volume 1 or Volume 2. You go find every map. I think Everdream's in the new season, but map pool, I'm not sure. And you copy, pick one. Pick one, or both. Where do they put their ovies? And maybe try to think about why. But where do their first three ovies go? 
That's it. You might be like, well, Winter, the replays are out. Go to DreamHackSC2 on Twitter. You can download the replays. You can go pause, play at your own, watch them at your own pace. I know it sounds crazy actually looking at how way better players play. But I'll give you some credit. Like, the macro wasn't terrible. It was just based on guesses as opposed to information. And to actually get better, you need to pretend to use information. So, when this happens, and your second OV is just sitting here, there's like a 40% chance he has 30 Zerglings coming out, and there's a 40% chance he's doing nothing, and a 20% chance it's something in between. But you don't know, because you didn't send your second OV across the map. If you had copied Sarah Will Rayner, I guarantee you, that's not what they would have done. But it's mostly fine. For Diamond, I think three now. It's like a B. Probably be moving up Diamond. For Diamond, the hope score is for the next tier of Diamond, which is a huge range of MMR. So. I, I'm sure that will be our one alright, formerly Platinum Zerg. I guess we're giving him two. No. Next up is Fazzy J. Shy Guy, Demu, Waltz, Sizzle, Probius, Smiles, Trent, Kybrit. Alright, we're down after these replays to nine more. I'll be right back one moment. If you guys could pause ad block, a quick uh, advertisement. Welcome back everyone, I'm Winter, and I'm here to talk to you about Prime Gaming. Did you know if you have an Amazon Prime account like 150 million people, and you connect it with Twitch like millions of people, you can get Prime Gaming. Prime Gaming, you may remember Twitch Prime, well Prime Gaming is Twitch Prime. With it you can get loot for all the exciting games you love. I'm talking Mobile Legends Bang Bang. I'm talking mobile farm harvest. I'm talking mobility scooters. I'm talking Yahtzee with buddies. You can get a million dollars a month in GTA Online, and you can play and pretend to do all the things outside with your friends that you weren't doing in the first place, but now you definitely are. But wait, there's more. Did you know that every single month for free, you can subscribe to a streamer of your choice with Prime Gaming, and that streamer will get more money? Also, you get all the exciting benefits like the amazing emotes. Can I get a winter sump? You can get the uh, loyalty and also, of course, sometimes streamers will take multiple seconds to say your name depending on how confusing it is or how many vowels it has. Or maybe numbers. It depends. Are we on PlayStation? It doesn't really matter. Either way, if you don't subscribe with Prime Gaming right now, it's essentially like losing money for me. So, don't lose money. Get all your exciting loot. Prime Gaming. It's everything you've ever wanted and more. As long as everything you ever wanted was to subscribe with Prime Gaming. Thank you. Good night. Oh, good. Now I have your attention. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you, Deadwish23, Mahagudi, for two months, Spiral Horizon, Urken Invader. Uh, glad you enjoy. We do have, up next, a, um, was that a quote-unquote Platinum Protoss? Now I have your and with that, second pylon, sub opportunity for the people, and also get on the hype train. If you get on the hype train, I get more money. E 
if the people are right. I'm not going to spoil it this time. I think enough people will remember when I left it on the screen, the answer. If you don't remember, uh, I'll spoil it. I should have tried it again, but... I, I did this with the SC2 replay stats up, which shows when people are supply blocked. It showed there was no supply block in the first three minutes. But yet, 60% of people still said his second pylon was late. Oh, good. So, now I have your attention. we will see. I'll be right back. One moment. Thank you for watching. New subscriber detected. Follower, is that all? Carrier has arrived. And his name is John Cena! He's gonna get in the ring and put boots to ass! You? This Are you kidding me right now? WWE. Are you kidding me right now? Lots of scam train tonight.
I mean, new subscriber. I guess we knew where it was going. Love you, Winter. WNTR love. I wish I played more SC2, but I don't. Smiley face. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the, uh, honesty. What league? Legends. It wasn't like it was gonna be class. Welcome back to Broad's League! <clears throat> Another game of StarCraft. Close enough. What is this? That's a lot of clicks. And then, what? What, what is this, like an auto clicker or something? You playing some zergling clicker? So the second pylon was more or less on time. The third pylon was to make up for the fact he forgot where to put the second pylon. Um... Fine. Fine. It. Research I'm still waiting on high speed Pylons, pylon. Wow. Scouting, seeing a third command center. Didn't actually see the uh, full anything. And then taking a third nexus. Your pylons being deconstructed by the enemy. The last thing remaining to actually be kind of on top of it is getting gates on time. On, on top of 50, 50 probes goes up to 6 gates. Your pylon is under attack. Save the pylon. Save the world. So now we have to decide what we're building. So actually for Platinum, this is further than you can expect. Like this is already very good. But there are a lot of decisions that could, like look at the supplies right now. This is what I would expect in Platinum. With someone who does a competent build plus someone who's just kind of doing things. But now you like okay, all right. We're building stalkers. Now I gotta. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Well, that's creative. Uh, you gotta kill the pylon, bro. You gotta break out. Okay, okay. I say four stalkers. I was, I was willing to give you, like, the first eight or nine stalkers, because the build was good. But now we're kind of leaning heavily into full stalker territory. Like, we're not gonna use 13. No, build another four. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. No, figure out what's happening with these immortals. Very expensive oh, cannons. The other one doesn't want to watch. You stand there and keep watch. I mean, that we knew that was going to happen. But... <laughs> He's both supply blocked, with no pylons on the way, and also 
Depowered his charge. It was all going so well. <laughs> Something had to go wrong. <laughs> like, well, how was I supposed to expect my pylon was going to die? No, no, no. The priority here isn't we see that. And now what do we need to do? Scout our mini-map? No. The priority is your supply block and you depowered your charge. It's not... Well, let's go see what my opponent is doing. Let's see what you're doing. Send the hallucinated phoenix back to your mate. And, and see what's going on there. Jesus. All right, all right, yes. No, I... Uh, Like, you built 99 pylons, but one that powers charge ain't one. Can you not tell? Did you not tell what had happened? Like, I don't... They're attacking your base. <laughs> and there it is. Okay, now that's too many pylons. We have gone... And this is... This is what you expect to see. This is like, a, I watched your guides, Winter, and I actually learned something. I hadn't played that much, so it helped a lot. But... I still... Like, at some point, something will go wrong. That point might be me walling in my own immortal. Like, if, if it's not the Terran doing it, it's gonna be me. Something's gonna go wrong. And it's going to lead to... Like... No! The answer is no. I, I get it. There are Hellions here. But, like, you don't need six more Stalkers. The first 15, pretty solid. Okay, but, well, I need to deal with the Hellions. I don't know. Two Stalkers? Few Adepts? Not six more Stalkers! This is the problem! And it's not like those stalkers warp in much quicker than the other stalkers walk back over there. And this is how you get to having just a stalker army that dies to literally everything. You can build more than one forge. You can build more than one robo. You need to build less stalkers. Well, well, I get it there. It was like a reaction with the stalkers and let's dispel with the rumor that he was ever going to use fucking control groups jimmy get the binder out we've been pretty light on the memes today but I, w I was a little proud it was a low energy but i was i was pretty proud um i mean we're not at the we should be at the watchtower we're not but Upgrade completed. So these things, like the reason you keep getting surprised by things, because you don't see any, are just a little bit better. This is de this is becoming a very book smart Protoss situation. Research all done. No, no, no! You don't just go from no splash damage to all the splash. I mean, fine, whatever. It's better than none. Jesus. What? You just gave up? That's it? That's all? The... And then it can live out the rest of its life in retirement. No, no, no. We're good on pylons. You took all the middle from that cluster. Your precious pylon is falling. Oh no, there's an army! How crazy is that? Research is done. Your forces are just Oh no. An upgrade's been completed. Well, it all just died. Oh, I guess it works out. I mean, more shit does counter less shit, especially the Terran tried to micro. So that was a classic mistake. Ten stalker limit, ten stalker budget. That's all you can afford unless they actually build air units. No more than 10 stalkers. Usually I'd say 4 stalkers, but like, 
it's going to be hard to cut down that much in the short term. If only there was some way to control units on both sides of the map, as opposed to chasing small armies all the way across like a fucking tennis court. Your upgrade is complete. Void race? Void race? You're maxed. Now think of how many cannons you can build. A mineral field has been depleted. Upgrade complete. But at what cost? There's, is there even a fleet beacon? Come on! And it's not coming back. Your probes are mine, that guy. Hope you did. Void rays do not counter Terran. Maybe if you build them and that's the only thing you build with a bunch of shield batteries outside their main. Void rays are just pound for pound worse than anything else you could build. Void rays don't counter marines. They ain't that great against Vikings. They're like, if they have range liberators, maybe. Void rays cost four supply. They're the only thing that wastes more supply and dies easier than stalkers, pound for pound and cost for cost, even with the new discount. Like, Void Rays die to Marines, stalkers die to Marauders. That's the only thing the Terran wants to build. So, you have just spent, like, like if you have 120 supply in Army, and like 20 or 30 is in Void Rays, that's mostly a waste. You gas. You're all mined out of that mineral. An upgrade. Carrier, like, I wouldn't mind Tempest or Carriers here just as a long-term unit, but Void Rays are just like stalkers of the sky. Why do you think they're the Silver League staple? Like, well, they shoot up, they shoot down. What's not to love? Everything else? I don't know. They fly? Come on, they fly. So fast. In front of my army and die first. Research complete, but have we learned anything? Upgrade is all done. Mind out of that cluster. Prismatic core. Mineral field depleted. Oh yeah. Beautiful storm. Mineral patch is gone. <laughs> and it's not coming back. A mineral field has been depleted. I mean, at least he builds Tempest eventually. I might add, this is the in-game version of the stupid tax. Read prismatic alignment. Realigns the void rays prismatic beam to gain plus six damage versus armored units for 14 seconds. Movement speed is reduced. So that means if you're not fi if you're fighting marines and you charge up your void rays, all you've done is demonstrate both your inability to read and make it easier for the marines to kill you. That is what you've done. It is not like, look, my beam is so thick now. Yes, against armored, it works. The marines are too small. You can only get so much beam on their faces. That's why it doesn't work. You might be like, aren't Hellions larger and also light units and don't take more damage? And to that I say, it's different. You've exhausted a Vespine Gaza. You reached me. I think I'm losing. You're all mined out of that mineral field. So, control groups, less stalkers, actual upgrades. Don't wall off your own immortal and then have an entire breakdown for a minute and a half because of it. Like, this is, like, I, I bet, I don't know if he's here right now, but, um, this really screams like, uh, I haven't played that many games, but I've watched a lot kind of play style. Like, it's pretty good, but at the first sign of something interrupting it, we have, like, wait, we got back on track. So that's a good thing. No but. Wow. Really? With that nexus? Mm. 
Oh, and he's still in the game. He go he's in the game for two more minutes destroying the buildings, which is If you enjoy it. For Platt, it's a B plus. You gotta calm down on the stalkers and void rays. You gotta not interrupt yourself. Most of the basics were there, but the Terran did l almost literally nothing for 10 minutes. So that do it makes it a little harder to judge. <sighs> okay. We have Shy Guy next. Shy Guy. Uh, Alright. Is. A. Platinum. Protoss. So. How can be. They, they hunt in packs. Another Platinum Protoss. It's the highest rate of play you've ever angry coach. Last one we had a GM. No GM, but and he didn't start angry coaching. He started uh, the first angry coach he sent in was in plat, but he got to oh GM eventually. He beat me. Attention. He got to GM, Love and then I he's no longer GM great. because maintaining GM is a lot harder than most people who are half that MMR thing. Speaking of, Shy Guy, a Platinum Protoss on submarine. There's so much submarine today. What the fuck? Veto it. Here's my advice. How do you play submarine? You veto it. You're like, what if I'm playing a best of seven series? Then what the fuck are you doing here? What best of seven series are you playing? Then pick it last and hope it doesn't get there. Honestly, it's worse than Golden Wall at the higher level because of the rush distance, but... It's not a terrible map, it's just the rush distance factors in so much. I, I actually like it and have a surprisingly decent win rate. Maps don't matter, like... Maps don't matter. Really. At, like, Metal League or Diamond levels, even. But... It's more of a mental thing. And as a random player, personally, and also... You know what the patrol command is? Probably not. Is Shy Guy here? Can I yell at someone directly or just generally? Like, as a random player who plays three times as many matchups, uh, I try to pick just the standard maps. Because you don't want to have to have multiple extra builds for each matchup that you might play relatively rarely. So you kind of just jam everything. And that's what the map pool ends up being nowadays. Um, I Because pro gamers don't want to have another half dozen other builds. Uh, essentially they're all, re not reskins, but they're like remixes of the same map. It's the same map. There's the map where you have, like, a choice of your third, but one is better for Terran and one is better for Zerg. And then the fifth base is a little further out. And then there's, like, a pervert pillar over here. And there's a small place you can get Reapers in, but only that place. I gotta... <laughs> and that's, that's, like, usually about five out of seven maps. And then there's enough vetoes to cover the rest. So what happened to Death Aura? What about it? Pull first. You gonna stand by that statement? Pull first. Yes, sir. Okay. Good to know.
They're going after your pylon. A classic tactic. The firstborn shall persevere. You gotta, you like, okay, are we gonna have another one of these scenarios where it's like, okay, there were six Zerglings. They're now almost certainly coming across the map. There are six Zerglings. We need to wall off. We need to... No, no, no. 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 New subscriber no. Thank you, Mango. No, I... What the fuck are we doing here? Oh, shit. Does he have Zerglings in my base? We had... And now... I like how you get both sides, because I will never not take the opportunity to yell at fucking Platinum Zergs for being essentially all from the same uh, hatchery and, and spawned out to create more of themselves. It's like, well, I got in. That means we need more Zerglings. So he's got 12 more Zerglings on the way. Of course he does. And he got in because apparently we just don't feel like walling off. Like, he, he spent time killing a pylon which shouldn't have been there but that's beside the point there was a pylon it died to zerglings and we had until those slowlings sauntered across the goddamn map to walk off against the zerglings but we failed to do so and i think that's just generally like you don't need to wall but like how is that this shouldn't be a surprise at least we got units on the way. At least not a supply block. Oh no! Well, at least there's like there's two adepts. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Everybody's a disaster in this. Like, this is a mildly reasonable defense for what it was. This was this was a great reaction to the total fi like. This was a, a reasonable. Um, recovery from the completely avoidable disaster. Like, there is no reason. You might be like, well, he was trying to bait the Zerglings in to kill them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Maybe he should keep the masterful baiting to outside of StarCraft instead of whatever the fuck this is. And the Zerg's like, oh god, my Zerglings aren't working. I should make more Zerglings. The problem is, Warp Gate's so late because it got depowered. And now the Zerglings are in the main because, yep. And we're just gonna ignore them. Mm -hmm. Oh, was this sent in like. Oh, look at me defend the Zergling attack. Ah, yes, the classic. Oh, shit, I forgot about Banelings move. That's a classic as well. Um, so now we're down to 16 probes against 18 drones. No. I would challenge either player to try to figure out who has more workers at this stage. I think they'd both say the opponent. We're going to get charge. And after that, Glaives. Good, good to have dreams. Oh yeah, and a cyber core might be helpful. <laughs> Remember that? If he wins this game, I should have charged more. Let's see. Like, he sent it in on drop.sc. Uh, which is also SC2 replay stats, but it's for single replays, which implies, of course, he doesn't have an SC2 replay stats profile. I doubt this is the guy, like... He's not even following. I don't even know his Twitch name. But this screams someone who's not subscribed. <sighs> The 
the fuck? How did he see it? Did the war prism fly past multiple overlords? Mineral field depleted. Because of course it did. <laughs> it just flies past two overlords and starts casually warping in. It's like, oh no! And they're out of here. So. Like, this game was played... What's the point of scouting? That's a real question. Because I see all these Protoss who scout, and then, like, usually scouting would be used to gain information and then react to it. It wasn't a pull first. It was a hatch first, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious and you didn't see the production tab or the minimap. Um, it was a pull first, but on top... Uh, it wasn't a pull first, rather. But on top of that, like... There were six Zerglings that, um, killed the pylon on the other side. And then they come across the map. If they come across the map, if those six Zerglings can kill a pylon in their own natural, and then they come across the map, and they kill the pylon in your natural, well, you deserve to be platinum, if not less. That's what you deserve. So, this guy somehow made it to Platinum. I disagree. C-. minus. Like, it seemed like he had a plan, but not before fucking it up in every possible way. Thank you, Nightwing. Or maybe it was gold. I don't know. Either way, he should be gold. It says, uh, 3,169 MMR, which I'm pretty sure is plat. When he sawed those Zerglings, should he have delayed the Nexus and built up his defense? No, he didn't need to delay- the, the key to that was he didn't need to delay the Nexus. All he needed to do was build the gate. He had the money to build the gate. He just did it. He just didn't build it. That's all. Like, he just didn't build it. He didn't put his adept in the wall, and he didn't build the gate. He had the minerals. Like, many things, it's not about what he should have done instead. It's what he should have done in the fucking first place. That's most of StarCraft is not about how do I respond to this. It's crafting a response in a timely fucking manner. It doesn't matter what it is. New subscriber detected. That was another example. Let's go up a few hundred MMR. Not as many hundreds as I thought. That was definitely bad. Uh, Demu. Demu is a diamond Protoss. Wow. So he would have built the gateway. Like, here, here are my two options. If you want to address the symptoms rather than the cause of the problem, well, here you go. Don't scout. Don't scout. That way, when I watch your game, I'll be like, wow, those Zerglings came out of nowhere. You didn't scout. When you scout and you see every tiny little bit of knowledge you might need at length to make the correct decision, and then you just don't, it's much worse. Just don't scout. That's my solution for those people. Diamond Protoss. Alright, we're gonna put the pile on there. That's fine. Saw no gas. Saw a Rex. Cybercore, everything's fine here. Interesting, pal. Like, 
technically that's where you can put a shield better in the low ground without being vulnerable to the low ground. So if that's the thought process, nice. If it's not, then. And this pylon is too early and also not a super pylon, but I get it. Sure. You know what? That's good. Thankfully, there has been no Reaper. Since Beyond didn't make any Reapers, Reapers have gone out of style in PvP. Honestly, Reapers never really did that much, unless you're proxying them. In the first okay, so everything is going great. Um, and I, I was like, this is going pretty well. And right up until the moment we realized he forgot Warp Gate. Uh, which is kind of a big fucking deal. It's not the end of the world, but... Because you can, like, if you're at home, it's the same speed to build out of gates, approximately, as use Warp Gate. And as Florencio well knows, you can queue him up. But this is not like a tactical build out of gateways style. This is a I forgot warp gate style. How long will he forget for is the question. Well, look at this diligent fucking scout. And yes, where is his info? That's an armory. That's a great scout. Now let's do anything else. Uh-huh, uh-huh, charge. No, 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 the answer to armory if you're thinking that's a Thor, that is not a Thor. That is not for Thors. I mean, it might be for a Thor, but probably not. It shouldn't be. That should be for Widow Minds. New subscriber. Thusly. Thank you, JJ Fine. THS love the Thusly. Coach. Observers. Oh, my God. Wow, we really still haven't noticed. There it is. But yeah, that, that it's uh, armory does not mean Thor's, my my Silver League Terran friends. It means the Widow Mines remain cloaked after firing. Would you like a demonstration? You might have to go to the mini map for it. Yep. Because he wasn't watching it. The probes are under attack. What happened? I don't know! Like, one, not for, not remembering Warp Gate, and two, thinking the armory means Thor. And you might be like, isn't he building a Thor now? The Thor did nothing compared to the Widow Mines that have already killed ten probes. The armory means Widow Mines. If it means Thors, just kill it with any amount of units. That's what you should do. Well. There's still one at the natural. Oh my god. Well, that did, like, way, 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 way. Once again, you know what would be better? Just don't scout. Just don't scout. Like, you scouted, and you were wrong. You put a lot of effort into scouting, and you were wrong. 100% you thought that was a Thor. It was not for a Thor. He might have built a Thor because he likes building Thors. Everybody's a Silver Leaguer at heart, but... Why scout? What's the point? Research finished. That's where we're going to end up today. It's like, why are you scouting? <laughs> it's just hurting you. It's wasting your precious, precious time. But you could never... <laughs> See, look! It's a Thor! I mean, we would have probably had the Immortal anyways. No, no, no. Like, why are you scouting again? What are you going to see? He already dropped a fucking Thor in your face. Like, we're playing Titanfall now, bitches. I don't... But, uh, what do you think? There's a Thor. That thing costs as much as a command center, effectively. 
Oh shit, a liberator. Oh, and the fire! Wombo combo! Oh no! The probes are under attack. Get him out of there! This Terran's crazy. What if he sends the Liberator to the main? You know, you might be like, well, how is he supposed to defend this? By ever using the minimap. Yes, at some point, you're expected to react to the minimap preemptively. Like, the Widowmine drop came in, dropped mines in the main and the natural before it was noticed. The first point in which the Widowmine drop was noticed was not the eight seconds he could have seen it on the minimap. It was when it first fired at the probes. When was the Thor the Liberator noticed? Not the few seconds on the minimap, and yes, just a few, but it was when they started firing at the probes. If the first time you react to anything is when your probes are dying, it's too fucking late. Mineral field depleted. You must construct. Like right now. I, I guess there's a fight going on, but like right now. I how Like you can't miss it. You can't. It it this one is the most excusable, but it's not like I, I bet. Even if nothing was happening, it still would have taken quite a time. I mean, if the Protoss is pretending to not use select all army hockey and also has the reaction time of a sloth using uh dial up then you can do whatever you want as a terran i'll give him that that field's been mined out Hope you <laughs> calculated that was definitely an intentional colossus that was a good preparation there. You see, now the Thors backfire. Because Thors are not great against Protoss. Except maybe when combined, like, against Skytoss. But not as just, like, a general unit to have. They die to charge lots. They die to immortals. They're not particularly great against Archons. They're good against Stalkers, but so is everything else. We're running out of minerals back home. He still protosses his way out of that. Can, Jimmy, do we have the forecast? Yeah. Now, what are our upgrades? 1-1. One, one. And that's how we like it. Why do we need any new upgrades? Why? I fear change. Stalkers do plus armored. Yeah, they get to shoot, right? But thank you for the education. So how good that can they be against stalkers? Because it's like, okay, let's put it this way. Let's say, I don't know, what's a good example? Let's say you're facing um, um, John Cena. So John Cena wants to punch you in the face. Um, which, I mean, I don't know what happened. Whatever. You were stalking him, maybe. Which, fair. Um, but, so you, just you, I'm just gonna hedge my bets and say just you. It doesn't, I don't have to be specific as to who you are. You're like, well, instead of punching him, I'm gonna put on brass knuckles, and that'll hit him harder. You think that's gonna counter, even if ten of you tried to counter John Cena with brass knuckles? You think you could take him? Maybe. But I don't know if the brass knuckles are the deciding factor here. So 
So how did this go horribly wrong? Oh, we right-clicked on the orbital. Ah, oh, we pulled out all the brass knuckles, too. Because I only have 1-1 one, one and he has 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that's the defining factor here. It isn't that half of your units die without attacking his units. That's not the factor. It's the upgrades. Okay, let me let me watch more closely. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. All right, good storm. Okay, get him, get him, charge lots. No, 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 everybody focus, focus. We're going for the orbital. Uh-huh, okay. So all your charge lot die. Attack Ian Orbital. Like, was it worth losing an extra seven, eight hundred minerals of units to maybe kill his orbital? I mean, they were good scans. I'm sure he doesn't have any other bases. I'm sure killing this orbital was oh, worth good. all of those units. Now I have your attention. He morphed mid-fight. This was actually good. This was him reacting and, like, realizing it used all his storms, which is not bad. But oh, you can't walk follower. up, right-click on an orbital while the entire... Yeah, Storm doesn't immediately kill everything. Marauders have a lot of HP. It's not the upgrades. I don't care. You have If you have fucking plus three attack, it wouldn't have mattered much because your zealots weren't attacking his fucking army. That's what mattered. Storm don't care about upgrades. And yes, I am entirely confident. If you land that sort of storm and your zealots are just attack moving, and yes, they might get hit by the storm, but that's why you have so much HP because Protoss Imba. If your zealots attack his army, you win this fight convincingly. But your zealots are 1v1ing a command center, which is bigger than your mother. Not by much. But... So, they are, most of them are dead by the time you actually fight, which means he still has enough left over because medevac. But good thing that was his only third, and you almost killed it. It was really the upgrades. And yes, the upgrades are bad. You should have well over 1-1 one, one upgrades at this stage. But, let's not attribute this loss to upgrades. It wasn't the strength of your units. It was the brain power of their commander. That was where this battle was lost. The they did the best they could. They were just following orders. So at this point, you might feel like, all right. I got this locked up, looking good, knocked him out, nope, he has two more bases, which, I mean, obviously, and also where, at this point we probably should have figured this out by now, but it's been a busy game. Well, this was one of the most obvious things that could have happened, but still. What a mess of a game. What even happened there? Embracing too much glory of battle. Obviously. What? There's a Viking. Hello. The Marines live... You... Like... You see, I don't think you understand how much... So... I don't know... You don't play Planet Side with me, I don't think. But if you've ever played Planet Side with me... I, I had... I, I went on a crusade against Infiltrators. Which are essentially like like Widowmaker and Overwatch. Everyone plays them, but they can't shoot. But the key of infiltrators in Planetside is they have motion detection, recon darts, and spotters, which allow you to see on the mini-map where the enemy is moving. And uh, so, one, I'm very adamant about that because if I don't have that, I feel fucking blind, like I'm going to get shot in the back of the head. And what I've realized is... Even when we do have that, and there's a big blob, say a big red blob of enemy soldiers coming up to our left. The amount of motherfuckers with my logo strapped to their sleeve that keep going forward is too fucking high. 
And I don't know why I'm surprised, because they're also sending in these replays to Angry Coach. If I keep getting shot in the goddamn back, because you guys don't look at the fucking minimap. <sighs> well, I don't get shot in the back. I turn. I see six dudes and get shot, because I'm not going to be able to take six. And then they shoot everyone else. Oh, I don't know where they came from. How fucking crazy is that? Half a dozen Marines dropping out of a dropship. Who could have known? The entire base died. Everything we sent, everything's dead. Then we ignored it for 10 more seconds. Oh shit, it's still there. Your forces are taking damage. Mineral field depleted. We, we could budget 2-2, two, two, but 3-3 three, three was too much to ask. What was the inspiration for Stargate here? I want to know. Like, I get it. If you're on 5 base maxed out with 3-3, three, three, yeah, Stargate. We're at 142 supply. With 2-2. Two, two. We'll start plus 3, but... What makes you think you can afford a Stargate? Like, is it just popping your head? Is there any Stargate unit that is um, particularly useful here, more than focusing more on the ground? It's unclear. It, it feels like a, I don't know, void ray situation, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. And yes, he says he plays planet side with me. So thus, so I did see that. Demu here says he plays planet side with me in my outfit. <sighs> mm-hmm. I believe you. I do. We're running out of minerals back home. I believe you so much. There's no taking those away from him. That was very good. <laughs> those were amazing storms. And he is trying to use multiple control groups. Like, he really is. So, like, there are good parts, and then there are not-so-good parts. And th by that, I mean the minimap awareness of a prehistoric chimpanzee. Which is just a chimpanzee. But before there was anyone who knew what a map was. Geyser's empty. That mineral field's gone. See that time we saw it. Apparently now we see it. Like, I don't know what happened, but he is noticing now. Uh, but something had to fall through. <laughs> I think we, we've got too much momentum anyways. Can't believe he gave that up. Okay, get warp gate. Armory doesn't mean Thors, even if it does mean Thors. I don't know how to fix the mini-map. I don't know how to fix it. Like, I just... Maybe go to a replay. Every time you take damage in the first five minutes, I want you to go to the replay, and you just watch the mini-map when it happens. Like, if it's a Widowmine drop, or a Zergling run by, uh, or a Depth Shade, or Oracles, you go and you stare at the mini-map and figure out how much time you had to react and maybe at some point your shame will inspire you silver i hope you enjoy the replay just started playing a few months ago oh trent is adding more context it it was delayed con but yeah we're not we're not there yet but we will be um it's a b 
Wait, what was this? Diamond. This diamond three. It's a B. I've had to explain many times that I'm probably spending 80% of the time on the minimap. I mean, not when you're not actively looking to shoot something and you know it's in front of you. Right, Chippy? It's the same in StarCraft. If you're not actively microing, you're probably in some part looking at the minimap. Or you should be. Looking for something to micro against. It's it's really not, and it's easier to lay it down on StarCraft. So, and there's no one in pink armor who's gonna kill you from around a corner, looking like their head is a uh, whack-a-mole, either. That little mine drop we could have seen coming from ten seconds away. We have waltz. Why did I do this? <laughs> How exciting. Diamond Zerg. I heard a little bit of Terran. Let's take a look at the matchup win rate. ZVT. It's always ZVT, eh? A little light on the games. Uh, barely 30 in a month. But... Let's just take that last game. Jesus. Everyone sharing. What is the supply block time? 133 versus 2 minutes. The vast majority within the first 10. Classic. We do the one versus Uno's player. Why did you give me your account? Okay. And then tell me, pick that replay. Okay. I'm sorry, today has been a rough one. Alright. Here are some more supply blocks and also a game. No diamond. Oh yeah, that one was alright. That last game. I mean, it was fine. There were no, like, you uh, are missing key concepts. Unfortunately, it's the hardest thing to fix, that last game, by the way. Just to be very clear. He's just slow. And partially blind. Unfortunately, you can't be like, we'll just change this. Because there's no quick fix for that. Yeah, it, well, it's not so much like... Uh, that was actually just slow. Not so much a bad reaction. Well, besides the, the Widow Mine drop. Instead of Thor's, but... There are people who are slow who are like... Zerglings killed my pylon on the other side of the map. And then they got into my base, and I don't know what happened. That's not slow, that's stupid. Which is also slow, but it's... He's he's a little slow. Um, whereas there's... I didn't react to a Widow Mine drop, which is... He's slow. I gotta... Fuck is the OB going? Okay. Feel like you would work this out beforehand usually, but Hatchery cooked up a fresh clean voice. Wow. These are house circlings. They're not to be used for fighting. 
And you know what? I'm happy about that. Look at the Terran. He's building jack shit right now. Because he was microing that Reaper. And he failed. You built drones. And you didn't even use the Zerglings. For better or for worse. And it died. The guy I played against Trent. There's like four more replays. We'll get to you, my Silver Terran friend. Don't be like every other Silver Terran, especially the ones with multiple times and multiple digits more income than you, and try to draw attention to yourself. We haven't even gotten to your replay yet. New like, we'll get there. Your So, unfortunately, here, our Diamond Zerg player... You know what? I, I can forgive 12 Zerglings, but that's the limit. Like, 12 Zerglings is, is like, okay, I'll be safe against Hellions. Which is true. But then you realize the Overlord technically scouted an armory, and this armory means something entirely different. We gotta read the fucking palm lines of the armory and find out, oh, it's... This one says, you're a stupid Terran fuckboy. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Uh, this one says, Hellbats. Okay. You the attack. And this one says, Hellbats, by the way. On purpose? Queen, your brood is under attack. Which we would have known. Okay, so at first I thought it was a good reaction. Like, against the Reaper, we weren't panicking. But now we've scouted Hellbats. They're here. And... I I don't know. Spread the creep? Uh... Uh... Not even more queens in production. If you were looking for something. If you're like, well, the Roach one just finished. You could have built queens. Have you tried queens? Base under attack. Like, you, in no scenario should you lose your third to four to six Hellbats. There is, especially after you've scouted the armory. Two que three queens might not have killed this, but they would have slowed it down. This is unacceptable. Just like this is unacceptable, but for different reasons. Like, the Zerglings already killed way too many SCVs, but they're both terrible. Matchmaking works, oh, is what I'm saying. Is that all? No, no, no. Go retake your third, you buffoon! No, no. We're take. You know what? Take, like, four more bases. Fuck it. Give me the give me the fucking advanced platinum Evo chambers. Come on. Come on. Evos. Come on. What are you doing? You can't just take all the gases and pretend like you have the drone count for that. You have 31 drones. The this is not is threatened. Oh no. That's a baneling nest. If it was Evos, I'd be like, alright. But now that's a baneling nest, it's like, alright. I know where we're going with this. The enemy is attacking. It might be like Winter, but I saw he was going bio. Like, look, look, he has Marines and Marauders. Yes! Which means upgrades would be pretty fucking nice, wouldn't they? Your swarm. Unfortunately, we don't have the minerals for the Evo Chamber. Oh, where we go? Well, what is the baneling nest for? Dramatic effect? What makes them advanced platinum evo chambers? Advanced platinum is assuming you're not platinum. Now, he's diamond, but that doesn't mean he can't be platinum. And if you can't follow me, you're probably advanced platinum. But advanced platinum evo chambers are when everything goes wrong, but at least your reflex is to get upgrades. Like, you're like... Uh, you, you panicked for 30 seconds, you go back, you look around at everything that was literally burned to the ground for no reason. And you're like, well, 
I guess evos. Will you use those evos on time? Probably not, but at least you got them. He didn't. So that's not a good sign. They're still the right choice. It's just the circumstances that have led to it are what makes it that specifically. But um, we have yet to make a single one. So the reflex to just build evos is not there, which is not good. There you go. There's enough gas to start 1-1 one, one now, by the way. Or for the last few minutes. But. Ah, uh, yes. We'll go into the flame, so that way they hit each other with them. Not not how it works. What? what Winter, what was I supposed to build? You've had enough fucking money for a King Henry of Queens every couple minutes. And you're telling me I'm over here, you're over here with three queens, 770 minerals, and no fucking idea what to build, you buffoon? I don't care that you're con technically in an authoritarian zerg hive mind. Build the queens. The answer is queens. If, if you got 700 minerals and no brain, build more queens. You took all Not scramble for everything else and then die. Minerals from that cluster, you thief. Jesus Christ. The next the next 10 ZVTs, I want 10 queens before 8 minutes. Your drones are under attack. You could literally do every bit of the disaster you are currently uh, showcasing, plus have all of those queens, and you'd still have minerals left over. If you were building three queens, that's 450 minerals every 36 seconds. Let's just say per minute. You still got money. You're just not. You're just not doing it. You're like, well, Hydras and Banes will solve this problem. It's a disaster. Evolution complete. If you had gotten them and not lost your third twice for no reason, maybe. It's a little late for that. Mind out of that cluster. And still in the game, the enemy is attacking your swarm. A mineral field has been depleted. Literally, though, like you can't you can't get to this stage and be like, "Well, what should I do now?" None of this would have happened if you built three more queens at the start. Six queens easily deal with hellbats without. If they don't have medivacs, the queens just win. If they have medivacs, at least they buy time. They might not win the fight, but at least you stay alive. If you have three queens, one of which is spreading creep while you have 1,400 minerals in your supply block, losing your third, well then, I'm surprised you made it this far. Honestly, the fact you're still in this ta game is a testament to a Terran who forgot what upgrades are. Look at that. The queen just ate the, both the tank and marauder fire for like five seconds on her own, which is the only reason you clean up this army, by the way. One queen popping out in a world of death and destruction just saved you. Your swarm is she is not armored. She doesn't take extra damage from marauders, from hellbats, nor from tanks. How bigger? She can take a pounding. That's kind of the point. Oh yes, yeah, Spire. Spire and Infestation Pit. Why don't we just try building units? Like, oh, I'm sorry, do we need more larva? I wonder what we should build. Like, I, I don't know. We're running out of larva, so instead of, I don't know, finding a way to get more larva, we're just going to get the rest of the tech. What part of Infestation Pit and or Spire is going to help? Are we going to get enough mutas to do anything? Let alone keep them alive against things like widow mines? Is that what we're going to do? Or is this, I don't know, fuck it, everything else? This is advanced platinum is what it is. On purpose? Mind out of that cluster. Brood under attack. Yes, but if I get fucking seven zerglings into his natural and kill two more SCVs, that might turn the tides. 
Actually, that was more like 12 Zerglings for possibly zero SCVs, but still, same thing. You're brilliant. Stronger now. You on the other the swarm. Oh, wow. I, uh... All right, so go back to Platinum. It looked okay for a second. But that looking okay was me complimenting you on your lack of reaction. That wasn't supposed to continue. But it but it did. Oh, did the four mutas not solve the fucking problem? Jimmy, bring up the gold thing. Wait, not that one. This is literally a gold zerg move. I wonder, I wonder if four mutas will fix the fucking problem. Oh, they didn't. Control groups, mutas. The enemy is attacking your swarm. Base under assault. What would Brenda do? Don't worry, it's not about winning or losing. It's about complaining on the internet. Oh, good. Now I have your Shame. attention. That's a C minus. It's almost a D plus. But I think, like, if the Terran was like some of the Terrans we've seen tonight and just sat there for eight minutes doing nothing, then, uh, maybe. Maybe you would have been fine. But usually, go back to Platinum. Most Terrans will not just sit there for eight minutes. They'll do something. Eight queens by six minutes. Try it. Give it a shot. Literally, that's it. Why do you think they've continually nerfed queens? Like, it's not because the queens were too weak. <sighs> we now have Sizzly. Aren't you, aren't you the, uh, book smart Protoss? This is low diamond or maybe plat. I donated... An extremely similar, but still wrong game link. Would you like to provide me with the correct link, then? I expect to see an extremely kind of okay, but still wrong build as well, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Can I plead for you to get the right link for my... Can't you just fucking link it? I mean, okay. I'm on mobile now. Sorry to hear that. Maybe you shouldn't have typed 50 messages since then. I mean, I appreciate it, but he did. I found it. It's not that hard. We got it. Oh, another! You know, though, you, you linked me a submarine PVZ. If six Zerglings get in and kill your pylon at your natural, I'm just going to... going to leave. I'm just, like... I'm not watching that again. Just FYI. You see, like, there's a lot of trademarks of each of each league or each race. Like, you can really tell the kind of habits people pick up. This is one of them. The, like, wide shift queue around the main. We've seen this several times. On the same map, in the same matchup, by the way. Like, I know I probably shouldn't try to do the micro like parting does. But I'm still going to spend a pretty ridiculous amount of time. So that the... I, I guess he decided uh, you were going to block it. But the wide waypoints that take four seconds to set up anyways. A classic. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying it's something to point out. Oh, 
All right, all right, we get it, we get it. Uh huh. We yeah, we get it. So you got two options here. Your first bout of micro, slowing down your build by a significant chunk of time, or not. Why point it out if it isn't bad? It's not bad, it just usually means the person doing it is. That's my point. It's like when someone has an American flag emoji on Twitter. They're not necessarily bad, but it paints a certain picture usually. Uh, you can, you can, if you were a gambling man, which I am not, thankfully, then you could bet on certain things. Just like when you see that probe do the wide arc around the main, there might be a point where this Protoss player, um, maybe doesn't have the perfect setup at home and it ends up screwing them for the entire game. Like, say, when they get a, uh, a Twilight Council, and then micro their Adept, and then forget Glaives. And then fucking ping-pong around their base with camera locations, still not getting fucking Glaives. Like, is this a Glaives build, or is this DT's? It might be DT's. Glory to the okay, so it was Glaives. Glaives isn't supposed to start. <sighs> I know what you're doing. I'm saying I get it. This is like the actual sharp Glaives timing. But... It's how the build works. Yes, yes, I know what you're doing. I'm that's what I'm saying. But it's like the this this is more advanced than most people. For those who don't know, Sizzle has studied the glaives and other actual builds and does his best to replicate them. The reason I'm saying is because most people forget if they're trying to do a delayed build. This is to time out the glaives with the second warp in of the adepts, which is a laudable goal. Done. And the warp prism, obviously. The firstborn shall persevere. Oh my god. Stop. Why are we still shifting through? We are well past the spamming phase. Not for him though. It's time. Calm down. Calm down. Like, hotkey your prism, maybe. Uh, a nine? What are you using, a Razor Naga? Why aren't you warping in with the prism? What are we doing? What's the point of the prism? The prism's all the way over there. The shades arrive in time. No, they don't. No, they don't. They just don't. For 12 adept push. Okay. It's all timed out. You know what? He probably knows the build better than me. If, if you know, him having a build, knowing what he's looking for and executing it, I can't take that away. I'm going to stop. The first upgrade is ready for you. That's more than half the battle. The other half the battle is recognizing that the main strength of the Adepts is the fact they cause your opponent to split their army when you cast the Shade ability. And that way you can isolate small parts of it instead of just having your army get surrounded and killed. Here I forgot to build probes. You know, my takeaway was that you lost, like, an extra seven or eight adepts for no reason. But yes, I guess building probes was also something that happened. The first 
Like, you're supposed to shake. Just because it's kind of working, because Zerglings don't counter Adepts. It's not so much here that this isn't working. Also, if you were going to build probes, the time is way past. But, like, we're obviously laser-focused. No, no, no. You send the shade out, and then you cancel it. If any amount of units get dragged away, it costs you nothing. Especially if the alternative is just doing nothing. If you can drag either all or some of the Zerglings away, then that's a win. If you, they don't get dragged away, you can just shade. Or... You could just lose a bunch of adepts without the shade. I guess we're going for it now, but it's... Like, what are you doing? What is that? And then we do shade into spine crawlers. I need to split against Banes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a minute ago. Like, don't be get, don't be justifying your lack of shading that the Banelings were already there. Let alone the fact that maybe you could have scouted the fucking Banelings in the first place instead of them showing up. They're off of creep, by the way. You can split and shade, which I know sounds like a lot of work. So why don't you just build like four more gates and really embrace your true nature, which is an all-in two-base protoss. That would suit you better. Uh, then pretending like this is going to be a macro transition. And if we look closely here, we'll see that DTs would just fucking win the game. Um, so hopefully that's where this ends. Because there is no detection. There's very technically a lair, but not a single spore. So I expect a 4DT warping coming up here. Um, and then we win. That's why this game takes four more minutes. I mean, we got the Dark Shrine for a reason, right? You can cancel the shade. I like. Is this is this news? From the shadows, I come. No probes. Stop with the fucking probes. The probes are fine. You got forty probes. You did a solid adept timing. Like, the timing was so good, it made up for the lack of real micro. It's mo it's kind of in a micro-dependent build, more so than most. But at this level, just having a timing is way more than most. So. But the DTs, I mean, the game does end here, effectively. Like, yeah, the game 100% ends here. It is. It, it was mostly over when he didn't have roaches to defend the depths. But. We've managed not quite to seal the deal. It's a tough bill to deal with. Why does nobody veto submarine is what I'm getting from today. Like, it's low diamond. You know, this would have been a B plus, except for all the explanations. When you're like, well, I didn't get probes. It's like, well, you didn't do the main thing the adepts are supposed to do. Even even in gold, I would expect at least throw the shade out there. Like, it's not like you were doing anything else. If you were building probes and you didn't shade, fine. If If you did shade, but you weren't building probes, like, okay... But if you, like, didn't build probes and you're like, because I needed to avoid mainlings, that's why I didn't shade for the next 40 seconds either. It's like, well... <laughs> I was panicking. Well, that much was obvious. And thus, not a B+. Plus. Thus, a B, like, I think you'll move up, like, I'll be honest. He's probably like, oh, this is Harstom's building, this is why all these timings happen. But no plan survives contact with the enemy. It was great up until we had to do anything, but... Practice in unit tester? No, no, no. What, what kind of fucking advice is that? Don't practice in unit tester. You can't practice panicking in unit tester. You practice panicking by playing more games and not being a fucking bitch. Which, 
He's not. He plays plenty of games. He's not a bitch. He's still just panicking. Keep playing. Maybe actually use SE2 replay stats instead of uh, dropped at SC. You can compare your timings without having to go into each replay, by the way. Dropped at SC once again. It just is a single upload to SC2 replay stats. It's still on the same site. Technically, you already have an account on SC2 replay stats if you've used dropped at SC. It's just like like your replay is there. Yes. Stick to Titanfall. For those who don't know, Probius is a accomplished Titanfall 2 player, and yes, there are dozens of them. Literally. Titanfall 2 is the best FPS game I've ever played. And of the dozens, I'm one of the better ones. Okay, calm down. And thus, why we can't expect much from this replay, obviously. Like, say, building your overlord on time. Too much to remember. Too busy doing some slide hops. Uh, to remember you're supposed to build an overlord on fucking 20. What is this? Uh, platinum or diamond? It's on the edge there. Wait, did he build the OV? I guess he got it at some point. Are we gonna even try to scout? Like, what? 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 Just send a Zergling to his base. Like, what if he has 50 Zerglings and he's just waiting? Well. <laughs> wouldn't it be a shame? Wouldn't it? The hive cluster is under attack. Our forces are under attack. I like the diligence on the walling. Um not like okay, so what is this? This is a trend today. What is your eight key bound to? Your Razor Naga, or any of the off-brand mice who didn't mark it as well, that they had a lot of buttons on the side. I'm excited to find out. My mouse button, there it is. I, if it works for you, fine, whatever. So how about that roach speed we already have done? Nice job. Yeah, 41... I mean, it's it's rough around the edges here. And the 48 drones is not a four-base economy. 55 to 60, maybe. Why is now the attack timing? Plus two finishing with Hydra speed? I should have given him the time to say that. But, like, you can't just YOLO in and hope for the best. Didn't go terrible. So, now, honestly, it went pretty well thus far. But now we're seeing why he sits in his base. 
Now we're seeing why this is truly diamond. He's not. He's seen this part. Um, but this is why. We could have 18 more hydras in the mail right now. But, instead, we'll work with what we got. And also, there wasn't really enough larva because we haven't really been injecting as well. So, this is when we add more macro hatches. Every 1,000 minerals you have and you don't have enough larva. Also, I'm pretty sure you're missing a base on the hotkey because there's still larva in the bank here. Uh, build another hatch. All, I have five hatches in your main. Make StarCraft Brood War again. No, no, no. Oh, no. You did it. I can't believe... This is a classic. This is a classic issue. I do this sometimes. This is what I do on my worst days. It's when you can't build units, so you kind of, like, get in the reflex of I can't build units, and then you build overlords because your mind is telling you you're supply blocked. But you're not supply blocked. You don't need nine more overlords. You need to build fucking units. But... Somewhere in your brain, it told you, well, I guess I'm supply but No. 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 Not even a little. What wins in a straight up fight? 15 roaches or 15 hydras? It actually depends on upgrades. The problem with hydras is they're very fragile, and roaches can get up in their bin. Um, whereas... Uh, Hydras obviously do way more DPS, so I'm I'm pretty sure with like two one upgrades or two two roaches would win. That's why you put the roaches in front of the hydras. So let me remind you of something that exists, which is lurkers. Ooh. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. In StarCraft 2, the creeps are allowed to touch. Um, it's okay. Though frowned upon, they are. It's okay if they touch. Oh, now we've discovered the advanced lurker technology. Really? You gonna make- you gonna make mutas? You gonna make mutas? You gonna make unupgraded mutas? But I made so many of them. Yeah, you did. I guess it was enough. But like... The guy already has Roach Hydra. You can build lurkers, but... Unfortunate, like, like, that's, that's a B. But there's also the, like, you attacked and didn't build things for the entirety of the attack, which is, this is not a turn-based game, contrary to popular belief. You want, you need to be building units and attacking at, at least close to the same time. You can't just do your attack, be like, all right, good job. The scouting was an issue? Why was the scouting an issue? That other guy's diamond. Half the time what you look at is not what he's doing anyways, or whatever you pretend to interpret it as. I like how he just focused on his own build because that was already a struggle enough. Winter's getting soft? No, the people who are stupid enough to not get bees, and literally the last one was not a bee, and half of these have not been shamed, but I, but thank you for your analysis, my good friend. Um is most of the people who are that much of a disaster are hopefully not sending it in because they either ran out of money, which wouldn't be surprising because only in-game do they not spend it, uh, or they might be getting a little smarter. Either way. 
Like, you need to build things while you're attacking. If you, you, can, you can't go back and be like, what do I do with the 2,000 minerals I banked up? That's just unacceptable, especially if he had built a reasonable amount of units instead of a bunch of... You didn't see this, but if you looked in the production tab, that Zerg had built three spine crawlers upon seeing the two Zerglings you sent out. Um, those are the kind of players you're dealing with. So, Not even speedlings. The first two Zerglings. My friend, I have my warp prism. I just start making units instead of watching fights. Um, if that works for you, I guess. Uh, sure. That's the best way to get better at macroing while microing. Every game you play, go to the replay, and the first time sure you have a big fight, be better. uh, just stare at your money. Just shame yourself. Stare at your money and see when it is. And then maybe next time you're in that similar situation, you can recognize, oh yeah, I shouldn't bank that much money in. I was actually interested to see if I was it was bullshit. So here are five roaches with speed and plus two, plus two against, or 15 roaches. And here's 15... Hydras, which cost significantly more with uh, the same upgrades, which isn't very realistic, but whatever. Uh, and let's fight. Without any micro. And that's why we don't only build Hydras. Oh, did I miss the armor upgrade for Hydras? Oh, that, I'm sure that would have changed everything. So why build Hydras? Because you can build Roaches and Hydras. You know what? The plus two armor did change a lot. The point is that if, like, if you're building Hydras and they're building Roaches, your upgrades probably aren't as good. And also, plus two, it costs a lot. But let's see here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to reset the upgrades here. And we're just going to get plus two attack with no armor. We're going to get rid of seven Hydras. We're going to replace them with seven Roaches. We now have 15 units. No armor upgrades, though. And no micro, either. Remember, the Roach Hydra has way worse upgrades. A lot closer than I thought. And one last time. I'm going to put the Roaches in front. And the Hydra's behind. Okay, now attack each other. Like you mean it. About half and a half. That's the usual mix. Remember, the Roaches had 2-2 two, two versus 2-0. Two, which is more realistic for Roach Hydra versus Roaches, but... Hmm, <sighs> how many do we actually have here? We have... Smiles. We have the... We have Revenite. Trent. With all his context. Kybrit. And that's it. Just four to go. Well, raising the price as well. Because maybe we can actually end this concisely. 
It is now thirty dollars. Please do Kybert first. Pay me. And uh Well, I'll be back momentarily after this quick advertisement. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody! I'm Winter! Smash that like button! Subscribe wherever you are! Panic! Thank you! Thank you guys for sticking around. From Smiles, another Zerg. He just sent me a download link. So, no other context. Subscriber opportunity. Which one of these will describe him? Is he a turn-based player, a zergling micro-god, or is he a creep-spreader main? I'll be right back in a moment. Thank you for watching.
Zero percent Marines. Yeah, Trent is going to be our very first Terran player, I believe. And yes, of course, after that, the sheep will say turn base player. Oh, good. Thank you, Arabes. Now I have your attention. Guy in the guy chat. In the chat reporting for duty, Ardo face. Dude, you literally don't know what you're talking about, guy in the chat. Just kind of forgot to build another drone. Okay. What are we looking for? There couldn't even be a barracks done. Well. But he could be building the barracks behind the mineral line. You can you never know. You can never be too careful. I mean, yeah, you definitely can be too careful. That's not true. You definitely can. The drone skin made a sound that sounded like an SCV building. That's too stupid to be a lie. Yes, the Terran is, I believe, proxy raxing. Maybe in his vein, who knows, but. By the way, if he's none of the above, if he's actually pretty solid with no major issues, like the ones I described, Chat gets subs as well. It's only if you were wrong. And he's not a turn based player. Instead, he's a creep spread main or a zergling micro I god. Queen is ready. Um. So. I'm wondering what we saw that made us feel so comfortable. Because there was no command center. Like, most players would be like, Oh my god, it's a one base all in! And this is one of the first times they would be right. Like, the scouting was mostly just for show. Yeah. Like, this is finally that time where, yes, he is doing, like, a one base. And, I, I, or just... Glossing over it. Evolution. Hatchery cooked up a fresh. New subscriber detected. Queen Red. WNTR love. Brenda's ready to run. Your brood is under attack. I appreciate the, um. The commitment to continued macro. I, I will give you that. No, no. I mean, fine, I guess, but... Okay, so now, now we're back here again. Does anybody notice anything that might be of interest? Um... Thank you, Machine Gun Contra, as well. I don't know, I can't... Does anyone see anything? No, he hasn't missed it yet. Okay. Queen's all done. Good choice. It's unclear it's whether or not he... Oh, well. Well, now he didn't miss it. Now... <laughs> the Terran gave it away. You see, it's not the Terran's fault. He didn't realize that his opponent was blind. It's not a bad idea to just take out the Ovi. I assume he had, like, a medevac or something. Like, just killing the... Little does he know, he just revealed his whole attack. <laughs> I knew Queen is 
Unfortunately, we just got hard supply blocked because, of course, the overlord that was scouting died and we did not account for that. So now we find ourselves without the ability to produce nearly as many zerglings as would make things much more comfortable. And now overlords are still dying and we're still supply blocked. Thankfully, there's queens, though. Have I mentioned how good queens are? Where's whatever incompetent zerg shamer there is? Honestly, the queens could probably hold this. No, 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 like... No, you're good. You don't need the banelings. So here is your moment. Here is your advanced platinum moment. This is Evo Chamber Town. I know, he doesn't even have very many minerals, but this is Evo Chamber Town. Queen. This is not main creep spreader. Having that many queens... And actually using them is good. Why are your hatcheries on 6 and 7? What is wrong with you people? What are you doing? Okay. Why are they on 6 and 7? The core. Then why is there... Is there I... Sure. Okay. It's rare to see a zerg with that. She's... Oh, I'm not on his camera. But yeah, they're the Evos. Yeah, this, like... So here's the brain process. Like, okay, attack, attack. <sighs> Mid-game. And that's when the Evos should come up. At the latest. Lair, Evo Chambers. Mid-game. You engage the enemy. It's not like actually that's not a bad timing. That's the probably the right timing. On purpose? The spine crawlers were a little gratuitous, but it's fine overall. Like, we got Oh, 40 drones is definitely well. No no no. Oh, he's he's leaning towards the creep spreader. Creep spreader main is when you creep spread over doing anything else. Not like you're good at creep spreading, but like you have 1,700 minerals, you're supply blocked, you have 24 larvae, but now is the time for creep spread. That is different. Hey Winter, made high gold two thanks to you. Made high gold two. If you have to make a distinction between the tiers of gold and within them, then maybe. Any and all help would be appreciated. Maybe. You shouldn't. I don't know. Maybe that's... Maybe hold off on that. I'm high quality. It's six and three... I'm six and three quarters years old. Yes. That's a Terran, right? No no non-Terran talks like that. That has to be a Terran. Oh, ZVP. It was in the message. Oh, God. Oh. High gold two Zerg. Interesting. You're all mined out of that mineral field. So, there's a little bit of both sides here. One, he's not a creep spreader main because he doesn't have the economy to bank up enough money. He's at 48 drones, which is too low for this stage. He's getting there, but... Also, we're only on Ling Bane. There's been no attempt at, like, at, for a second. A hi what? What is going on? Okay. I, good. There's the Hydra Den. The enemy is attacking your swarm. You All done. Finished. Are those intentional, Dropper Lords? And not overseers. Some people, like depending on your hotkey setup, might get them confused. We've now got the dr 74 drones. Is a good number. Evolution complete. He's turn-based. 
by the way. They both are. It's diamond. Let's be honest with ourselves. But there it is. It only took any amount of anything, and then there we go. Like... So the people were right. So here's the beauty of what just happened. He got the better end. So what happens is they both take their micro turn. But Smiles here took his macro turn slightly earlier. So the Terran was taking his micro turn. I mean, the Terran was still taking his macro turn. While Smiles turned back to his micro turn. And that's why everything died to Banelix. Um, classic mistake. Yes, and 50 lings are obviously not the call here. I mean, some lings, but not all lings when you have 1,000 minerals, 800 gas. I'm just going to get the subs out of the way. All right, let's just get that done. You might be like, well, winter isn't a StarCraft just a series of events. My Google Chrome is exploding. Oh, it unexploded when I minimized. Okay. Um, if any of those Google programmers are watching from that uh, Academy match, give me my RAM back. I need it. <laughs> I can't hold all these tabs. New subscriber detected. Yeah, StarCraft is just a series of doing a bunch of things in a rotation that hopefully better than and quicker than your opponent. And here, that paid off to an extent. Is that all? When was the last time we Larva injected? Oh, well, looks like we got some injects in there. New subscriber detected. Overall, I can't be too mad at anything here. It's just the classic, like, getting distracted while fighting. Even for 15 seconds is a long time. But it's enough to beat most diamonds. Like, like Clem's not gonna... It, it, and, and yes, now I'm, I'm going from diamond to Clem. But it's not like Clem can't build marines and also split his marines against the obvious Baneling or semi-simultaneously. But, uh, but as you go up, you get Terran players who will not put themselves in a scenario where they have to choose between the two. That's the difference. Mineral field. No more. Here we go again. But look, he's not sieged. I can go. I can go. I'm going. How are you doing? Brenda! Yes, you're winning the fight. If only you could take advantage of it. Honestly, the queens help save this by tanking a lot of damage from the tanks. But even with this all dead, and then, and then of course, the classic, oh, uh, fuck, zerglings, and now your larva is gone. Not that Zerglings are necessarily the wrong call, but we both know that's just a reflex rather than an active decision. Those could have been 20 more Hydras. You don't really need 20 more Hydras, but it could have been. You're all mined out of that Vipers are a good call. You took all the minerals from that cluster. Where are the banelings? Your brood is 
A pretty solid split from the Terran. I feel like I should have made more sooner enough to put person to a baseball. Didn't see the lurker. Yeah, that's how you don't trickle in, by the way. So the here's what happens when you play Microzerg. Now this game it's going okay. But this is the reason you lose. This is I can tell you how it doesn't go okay. Imagine you don't quite have this economy. Imagine, I don't know, an attack killed the fourth or something, you lost some drones. If every single time you fight and you don't quite win, you're just building Zerglings instead of taking the active thought process. Like, if you have to jump back and remember, oh shit, I need to build units. Sometimes, the units you need to build are not Zerglings. If you're panicking every time you need to build units, you're always going to be behind on what units you need to build. Here, Zerglings might be an okay call, but I seriously, and I'm, I'm, even if you say it's not true, it's definitely just the like, ah, fuck, I didn't build units. So, uh, Zerglings. Zerglings get less and less effective. I guess ad Adrenal Glance helps a lot, but. It's a relatively close game here. There's some Hydras. We are one step from victory here. All we gotta do is not take a terrible fight. And so far there have been not there haven't been terrible fights. They've been good. Not great, but good. I've never seen this screen before. Wow. For D2 B. Why is it not higher? Because there was no minimap awareness, but there was nothing that ever... Like, that was not a game that had minimap awareness. But the one most important time when you needed it... I think games where there are drops are much more of a struggle. Uh, on top of the... I guess we're building Zerglings as the follow-up. On top of the layer attack being late. Like... This is Diamond 2. We're starting to get more and more competent players. That Terran was pretty solid. It's just he got off to a rough start. Everyone gets a B today. But for very different reasons, actually. This was an example of almost everything was done right, but most of it was done slow. We've had one of those. That's Protoss. Um... As opposed to the, like, you've done some things very well and some things not at all. So mostly do that, but watch the minimap. Don't forget your tech. And don't build spines out of a panic if you don't need them. The drone count, like, that was mostly right. Unfortunately. Not as fun. We have Revenite. Who is? Wow, what is 2300? Is that silver or gold? Gold three. You don't need the sub to send in your replay, but it is cheaper. It's not a requirement. The only thing, like, the reason I call out non-subs is because nine out of ten times, they're people who are looking for attention, not help. Though they need what they're not looking for. Yes, we're maintaining the veneer that this is actually helpful to some people. Those people don't usually send in replays, though. Medium high gold, 3.125. That sounds right to me. But, like, what is that in moon phases? More 
Is that a hard wall? I don't even know. It's a mess is what it is, but... Okay, so we... We scouted. He didn't have an expo. He had a pool. Alright, I don't mind hard... I, I mean, hard walling isn't great. But it's better than not walling at all. Which, I'll give you that. Sure, fine. You know what? If you're not confident, you know how to wall, and you see a pool first with no expo, I'm fine with a hard wall. Okay? Like, as long as we don't fuck it up in a new and creative way. Just getting a second nexus before he gets a second hatch puts you very far ahead. I think the Zerg, the Zerg, I just want to take this time to go to the gold or silver Zerg. I think it's silver, actually, but, um, his name's Nice Man. This is his camera. That's about it. That's the build. Unfortunately, hard countered by the wall. No, I mean, I get it, but also, okay. You know what? Fine. If that's scouting for overlords or, or nidus or drops, it's better to be ready early at this level, for sure. I like that we're thinking about it. Like, it, it doesn't take much to impress me at silver. Remember, remember back to Nice Man's cam. Um, walling off, scouting for alternative attack paths while still building probes in an expo? Sure. Fucking genius. Prodigy. So we're done with Didn't even forget Warp Gate. You could just kill the rocks. But I get it. Thank you, King Kenny. 27 months. No, like, he has 50 probes. He has 50 probes at 6 minutes to 22 drones. I don't care. You can kill. You can build more gates. With that much money. That's fine. Like... Killing the gate instead of the rocks is very tiny. That's like a Twitch chat level of mattering. It's the least important... No, okay. Alright. Well... Oh my... Okay, well... And then the Zerg goes for the Cyber Core. I'm not gonna get it. I mean, he is gonna get it. Alright. Upgrades, Templar Archives, and now, like, we're going straight to Platinum if we build more gates in the next 30 seconds. Remember, we're only 7 minutes in, he's at 54 probes with the third, like, after defending those attacks. This isn't they are billions, we can calm down with the pylons, put the factorial pylons away. And, uh, put them in places they aren't in the middle of random shit. Okay, the, ga the cannons to defend the existential threat of mutas. And you know what? There you go. 
there's still the the cannons and plate like even if there were mutas what would they really defend i guess there's enough here but like not that much but nothing left in It, it, we're mostly there. He stopped building stalkers once he got charged in Templar archives. Maxing out with 2 2 near 11 minutes. And 77 probes. You know what? Well, he's going to have to actually build. Units, but once he does, <laughs> taking a fourth, getting more gates, slaughtering the army. Not even building random stargates with no plan? Like, a better Protoss would have built stargates. And I mean that as a compliment. Most gold or platinum Protoss at this point would fumble around and be like, well, I haven't built any Stargates yet. One of our pylons under enemy fire. That's what I mean. But this is a fresh, this is a fresh, relatively new Protoss who's like, Immortals, Archons, and Charge Lots. This is a plant, not a real Angry Coach submission. No, this is what happens if you actually watch Angry Coach. His message says, Hey, Winter. Watched a lot of your videos on YT, and no one who doesn't, no one who uh, doesn't watch YouTube calls it YT, for one. Um, first time sending in for Angry Coach. Just getting back in SC2. Want to see if I'm heading in the right direction. So yeah, he's actually fucking watched it. Our base is under Which is, you'd think, the least you could expect. But your expectations are far too high. How did those get there? Well... Like, I, I like how someone actually does what I say to do in my guides, which they've obviously never watched. It's like, this guy's smurfing. Yeah, that's what it looks like. When you copy a reasonably competent player, instead of pretending to copy what you remember of half the thing you skip through, it looks more like this. That's the difference. Okay, let's figure out what 2300 is. 2300 is and 2300 is silver silver one a I mean there were still little details and it still could go wrong with those wall offs and pylons like it could tilt far another direction but focus more on the getting the three bases and maxing out an immortal Archon charge lot, and less on having pylons spread throughout your entire base. Um, and also, a few more gates early. 50 probes up to 8 gates. We're going to speed through gold to plat like that, though. All these gold zergs coming in like this guy must be at least masters. Nope. Because those gold zergs were on the other side of the story. Speaking of, oh wait, no, we have a silver Terran now. We have Trent, who uh, finally got the right replay. And also, okay, Trent, I'll take your life story now. Now's the time. No, wait. No, no, actually, yeah, Trent. He is a uh, silver... His opponent is Platinum, but not as Protoss. So he may have had the Platinum logo, but uh, not as Protoss. Oh, does Trent eventually sit in his fucking base and build fucking battle cruisers? Good job, Trent. I'm so fucking proud of you. You are just someone to look up to. I'm very glad you sent this in. I'm sure we're going to learn all the best habits here. 
This is why, Good like, luck, have fun, and, uh, thankfully, this is the only Terran we've had today. If, if we had three or four more of these, which we did a couple weeks ago, I would probably just by default charge double for every silver or gold Terran. Especially if I see Yamato research in the like at any point in the replay. That's what I need help with. What do you need help with? Trent, tell me what you need help with specifically. Or what you think specifically. You need help with building battle cruisers? Or, like, what to do with the battle cruisers? He built a bunch of units. Oh, wait, we're the Protoss. No, no, we're not. What? And just went for BC. You'll see. No, but, but like, how did the Protoss go battle cruiser? You'll see. Okay, I'm sure I'll see. Remember, Trent didn't read the whole message and sent in only 15 instead of 20 originally. So I'm sure Trent, like, no, I went BC because I panicked. I panicked into the most expensive and longest to come to fruition tech path. I panicked, and then six minutes later, the battlecruiser showed up. That's, that's like the kind of panic we have here in the 2000 MMR leagues, in the hard campaign leagues, in the more disposable income out of game than in it leagues. In the fucking medium AI 48 games didn't prepare me for a single match leagues. In the I play fucking Rainer and co-op leagues. Well, now we trapped the probe. Trent. 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 My three quarters of the way to a mildly competent dog show champion as the dog friend. Trent, my three tries at third grade still wasn't enough friend. Trent, my... The, the green parts are obviously the water on the map, friend. Trent, my blind in both eyes, friend. Trent, my uh, mama gave me a box of chocolates and she said, well, you never know what you're going to get. Mama obviously never had had a box of chocolates and couldn't read, friend. What's up with the command center? I'm... I hadn't played in three days and got on late at night. Okay. Trent, another question. What's up with the command center? Like I said, I went in with no plan. Trent, what's up with the command center? Full send. Trent, why did you send me this replay? I cancel it. Trent, why did you send me this replay? I'm actually drinking water. I need to be acting. Like, I'm... It's, it's buying time. 
Because I want to get better. Trent, why did you send me this replay? You're not answering the question. You know, I think Trent thinks he's answering the question, and that's part of the problem. That's why. It's not like he cancels it because he's like, you know what? Maybe a command center at my natural is a bad idea. Uh, he cancels it because the probe scouts it because his opponent isn't AFK. Trent. New subscriber detected. Do you play League of Legends? No. Maybe try it. It's free. Trent, have you watched the 12 minute Easy Terran Build Order Guide on YouTube, on the channel, you found me. Same channel, same dude. Much nicer there, though. You did. So you watched that. You, you say you watched that. And then, you send me this, and you don't see... That's how I found Angry Coach. Okay. So then you send me this, and you tell me you have no plan. I'm just establishing the facts here. Yes. Okay. With all that said, let us continue. This better be good. SCV ready. What else would we build but an engineering bay? SCV ready. Can never be too careful. Twitch chat opportunity! What for- this is gonna be a really hard question. And worth three subs out there. What's gonna be first? Five turrets or a starport? Twitch chat opportunity. We know he goes battle cruisers, but we don't know when. Will he be in the process or completed five turrets, which I, I picked a pretty high number. Okay. Like, higher than the turret in the mineral line number, but not by much. This is a tough question, right? Like, we're going to give it ten more seconds. And then, five, four, three, two, one. The answer is, fuck you. Oh. Okay. You know what? Congratulations, chat. You win. <laughs> Everyone wins. I'm feeling. I'm feeling generous. Trent has put me in a good mood because he's the only Terran we've had today. So it's the only time. Well, actually, Icomoni's coming up, so it's gonna go downhill from here. But, like, if you see it once, it's cute. If you see it five times, it's a problem with the education system. Like, that's the difference oh, between this and a few weeks now ago. I have your attention. And let's see what the answer is. Go, go, go. New here comes our five marine timing. 
with no stim or combat shields or either on the way. Plus one attack. Oh my god. The micro goes for the pylon. Micro's back. Here comes Trent, looking for more. Pylon, stalker warped in. Adept, stalker. Adept, stalker. Stalker target. Adept, firing. Marines retreat. More Marines on the way. Retreating back to the natural. <gasps> oh, I thought he might build a starport. That was dangerous. That was very close. <gasps> he, I don't know if he saw... Oh, oh my god, wait. No, that, that SCV didn't have the certifications. Or it had minerals in its hand. I'm not sure. It's unclear. Um, both are reasonable... Oh. Your command center upgrade is complete. Okay, we're selecting the SUV. <gasps> you guys are fucking wrong. Starport, there it is, right on time. In before five minutes. What a dude. Well, <laughs> there can only be one depot lowered. Oh, and an armory as well, because otherwise, how are you going to upgrade? On a bunker. Add on. Complete. And a, a, a yes, a fusion core. Wow. So to quote, he built a lot of units, so I panicked and went BCs. That a lot of units, quote unquote, was three. It was a stalker. It was an adept. And it was a century. And that was a lot. Which, like, it, how can you afford one of everything? Uh, you're buying a Protoss variety pack over here. Like, they're Protoss units, which are worth at least 10 Marines apiece. We're gonna go for Cloak. Okay. For Banshees. And then a Command Center. You never know what's going to happen next. You know, here's what I'll say. As much as, I don't know if Trent, I want to make it clear. Trent, I am making fun of you. But, it's kind of, now that we've gotten over the early game and whatever the fuck you explained it with. It's not the worst I've ever seen. Like, there's some semblance of, like, these are kind of the thing. Like... It, it, it's like there's ideas here that are re somewhat related to the ones that I tried to impart in my basic Terran guide. The minerals have up right, they, they, I mean, it, to say it's rough around the edges is like saying that this plywood I broke up into a dozen pieces um, and then laid on the ground and I want you to lay and drag your hand across um is rough but SCV ready. This better be good. SCV finished learning SCV ready. Additional ready for all right complete. This better be good. outplayed Unfortunately, while we have five different hotkeys for production facilities, which is impressive, we only have none for the army. There's one for an SCV, though. Don't tell me it's on a mouse button! <sighs> Don't get into one of his meta bags. Oh, wait, he saved some. Upgrade complete. The minerals have up and ah, so this is the and then I went BC's part. Oh yes, let's poke the bear here. That one tank, don't worry, I'll draw back into the tank. And that'll seal the deal. <laughs> that, that... Retreat to the tank! Command center got better. Mineral... Mm -hmm. Well, obviously we have to go attack that. Oh, maybe not. And yada yada yada, battle cruisers. Additional supply. SCV ready. More shoe. Oh, 
shoebox mineral upgrade come like Trent five barracks you can put them all on one hotkey and use the tab key which selects different types of things I think I described that in the Terran guide but maybe give it another watch um I, I'm like, like, this is the the difference between a Terran and a Zerg. The Zerg has a, a fucking mouse hotkey for their hatches and doesn't even really use it. The Terran has five hotkeys for buildings, which is, like, I've never seen that at Pro or the opposite. That is diligence right there. He's built Neo Steel Armor, Yamato, and ship weapons. If you didn't know better, you'd think this was 28 minutes in the game. <laughs> Get out, get out, get out! It doesn't matter, that way! And this is the plot of every mediocre sci-fi episode. Just jump, I don't care where! I don't... Oh, sir. Where are we? Mineral field depleted. The minerals have upgrade. Fire the Yamato at that pylon! Oh, shit. Oh, now we got Thors. Okay. The finished learning. Thor's and battle cruiser, baby. Plus three infantry armor. Four Thor's queued up. Battle cruisers doing either incredible or zero damage. No combat shields. Bases, I guess, like a pretty solid amount of base. Yeah, this is honestly like a solid mix. This, you don't. It's like a combination. You know what? I do believe him. I think Trent is the most truthful person who's ever been on Angry Coach. Mostly because he's incapable of forming lies. Uh. <laughs> But, uh, I think when he says, I, I uh, play StarCraft in my spare time, that implies he works a lot, or a lot of his time is occupied. And this looks like someone who watched a guide a while ago, plays for fun, enjoys it, remembers a little bit, but mostly, you know what, we're going to play some fun games. Like, I Because there's little bits that seem like... You know hey, where to go. Out of here. And he's just done. And then there's the classic Ron's League Heroes. So not terrible. You know what? For silver, it's a B minus. We'll get to gold. And and also a wow. You know what? I think we're there. It, it's a little shoehorned, but how many games should I play? Ooh. I'm not sure we solved this by playing more games, but as many as you can. This isn't really a play more games situation. I might point out, we didn't notice this. This was how he walled off his, his fourth. So what we're going to want to do <laughs> is we're going to build those barracks, but build them in the main at the five minute mark. Okay, wall off this part of your main with those barracks at the five minute mark. And also get combat shield. And then boom, go. I'm gonna put marines at approximately 22% as well. That's, what, that's the read I'm getting from it here. Um, and also thank you. I think, can we all thank Trent for that experience? I have a three racks build. Of course you do.
Ultramores! Wait, no, Kybrit. Speaking of Trent, Kybrit. But playing Protoss. A PvP. What a what a turnaround we have here. Kybrit did get to Platinum by 3 raxing his way there as Terran, so take that as inspiration for everyone. And then he immediately switched to Protoss because now it's starting to get stressful. Trent is not Kybrit. All right, Kybrit is smart enough to know how stupid he is. It's just the the obviously frustrating but entertaining part is he doesn't really care. Why? This is the stupidest fucking thing in the world. You know what's more important than your cybercore? Setting waypoints all around the fucking map with your pro! It's very important. We've already talked about this. Ah, uh, yes, we gotta get the pylons. You know. Fewer probes means more space for units. Great plan, boss. The entire point of a wall off, the reason we do the wall off, just for everyone else, is to stop Adept Shades from getting in your base. That's 95% of it. If you are not sitting here with a probe at the wall to build a shield battery or something, like you're gonna have the reaction time to stop Adept Shades from getting in your base, there was no point in walling off. It does nothing but potentially hurt you. Probes are under attack. It's not just walling off because it feels good. Let alone with three gates, by the way. The first two would have been fine because the point of the wall off is to be able to temporarily place like a shield battery or pylon. Usually shield battery because it takes longer to build. So you don't have to cancel it and rebuild it and risk it finishing. Though I'm sure you would if you got the can like that the uh, honestly at this level well, half the people don't know what adepts are or how to use them and the other half aren't going to react in time anyways let's be honest with ourselves so ah yes but we did kill the pylon which costs 100 minerals how much do those zealous zealous cost um, 200, 200 minerals? Uh, yes, but... Give me my... But pylons are the powerhouse of the protons. I've heard that. <sighs> Your research is done. Don't forget the... So you're like, he killed my units with units. So now, instead of building any units, what I will do is take a third. Yes, carry on. That was not a real phoenix, and half of those are not super pylons. Was that not a good spot? 
It was, it was. I was just checking the lighting. So he had no units in his base. I guess he could be like you, and I think he is. Where he's just like, okay, well, we made it past the early game, so now I don't have to build anything. What's a super pylon? Are you fucking shitting me, Twitch chat? Classic. So, it was added with Legacy of the Void, so most of you weren't playing. And haven't been. Even, but I was Diamond and Wings of Liberty, but my friends kind of stopped anyway. Super Pylon is a pylon that is te well, technically a warp conduit, but nobody calls it that because that's stupid. Uh, increases the speed of warping in units from 12 seconds down to 4. The default amount is 12 seconds, but only if you're near a warp gate or a nexus is it 4. So the warp prism has a warp conduit. Um, the other pylons are warp conduits. Uh, it, it, that's why that, that stalker, which was not a warp conduit, took three times as long to warp in. What is the range? It's the one with the fancy ass big indicator. There's an indicator that shows you. It's a pylon range. It's the range of the fucking pylon. It, the py- Okay, so the pylon- Wait, wait, wait. Fuck it out. Let's- Let's- The pylon has a range of nine- is it? The pylon is the Protoss supply building and the primary source of the psionic matrix power field. After warping in, the pylon is surrounded by a circular field of the psionic matrix, providing power to nearby structures and enabling units to warp in on demand from warp gates within a radius of 6.5. Each pylon also provides 8 psi supply points. Technically called size supply. Well, that's, I guess, good to know. Upgrade. Oh, it's so fucking stupid. It hurts so much. You finished a dark shrine and you're warping his zealot. Like, you got a pylon in his base. Somehow, because this is gold, this wasn't even a good strat in Golden Wings of Liberty. You have a Dark Shrine, and you're like, let's get those zealots in there. You are fresh out of minerals at that base. And then you warp in another round of zealots. Out of minerals. Idle work of so And then you warp in another round of zealots. And then you warp in another round of zealots. And we just forget about the dark. It's not so much that this is working, it's that if these were DTs, the game, like, it would be just straight up better. Like, but don't worry, this guy had no units, because of course he didn't. I usually do that. Gold Protoss at their absolute fucking finest. I researched charge, that you did, my friend, that you did. I'm proud of you. Now charge more to your card and stop giving me this bullshit. So I was thinking of getting just the zealots. That's why we got three bases, all that gas, and a dark shrine. All of which cost more than the charge upgrade. By the way. Because, uh, just feeling like some charge right now. Poultra Morse, I'm excited. It's time for High Gold 2. High Gold 2. Thanks to your input and guides. That's that's where you got? Thanks to my input and guides? Oh, God. I felt genuinely confident early in the ZVP, but couldn't quite turn it around in time. It's a 30-minute game. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that last game? Just generally. Shame. 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 
It's not even that. Well, no, no, no. The entire build was bad. The the whole build. His build was somehow worse. But that doesn't mean Kybert's build was anywhere remotely close to good. Like the three gate into no cyber core into pylon power field spread throughout my entire base like we're playing Factorio into a third into a dark shrine into a fucking pylon into his back the back of his base like that's a real strat didn't even make a warp prism like a respectable cheesy proton god All right, let's see what high gold 2 looks like. High middle tier gold. <laughs> but the higher, like the 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 upper middle gold, okay? No, 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 there's a pylon, there's a pylon, you saw it, you saw it. Or was it a probe? Either way. I know I suck horribly, somehow I'm platinum. Are you Zerg? Bold statement. This is cute. Having personal relationships. Fucking casuals. Also, come on. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He spent his entire bill, his entire last two years refining this perfect cannon rush, you fool. Of course he did. The oldest trick in the damn book. Oh my god. <sighs> now, the second overlord's supposed to stick around the natural so you can see if there are any untoward things. That's, that's how you see this. Though technically we saw the probe. But remember this is a 30 minute game. So whatever comes out of this situation, we got so much more. What a cancel, and there goes the drone. Okay, well, now we're down to one bit.
Almost two years. Woo -woo. What a brilliant counter! He won't care to rush my whole base, cause you can't build on slime, noob! No, 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 the cannons aren't gonna sneak up on you. That's what I was hoping? Well, maybe we should have been hoping to realize that if he cannon rushes... You know what? I'm not going to explain defending a cannon rush. Well, okay, here was the real answer. One, have your Obi in the right spot so you scout it. Two, don't talk. Three, build either a spine crawler or just roaches. Four, you either let the hatch finish or the drone goes and builds a base somewhere else. Five, get a lair. Six, maybe build a lair in your base to make up for the larva you don't have because you're panicking because you're getting cannon rushed. Oh no, what's it gonna be? What? It's a little fucking late for that! If your spine is that late to the party, maybe you should see a fucking chiropractor. No, 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 no. The time for spines has fucking passed. Hot key or other hatch, build a half dozen more roaches, and move on with your life. No, no, no. You can also- you can hotkey multiple hatcheries on a hotkey. Ever since the Brood War. You don't have to- Also, let's look at this. There's like each cannon- it's almost single combat now. He- he spent however many- like a thousand minerals or more on all this, by the way, so. All you have to do is just calmly deal with it. Even at this late date. Even after all of this. Just gotta recognize, that's one cannon. You almost killed a cannon with six lings. You can get, just kill the cannon. A spine crawler doesn't outrange the ca- Oh my god. I- oh. And also, you're gonna wanna do- uh, Here's my recommendation. While you're out microing one static defense structure, do fucking anything else, maybe? I know I'm asking for a lot, but... <sighs> oh my God. If we were playing like one of those missions in the campaign where you just micro five units against like a set piece, then it would still be pretty bad, but at least it would be understandable. I'm pretty bad at those missions. I'm pretty bad at those missions for the reason this is not how you play multiplayer. My immediate reflex is, oh my god, just how many units just run it over. Your reflex is, if I trade spine crawler and corrosive biofire intermixed with a transfusion from the queens, then I will have maximum efficiency in breaking one out of the four cannons he has surrounding my base. The thing is, like, the YOLO response was better. If this is, like, shield battery cannons, it's bad, but... This is the opposite problem of most gold zergs. I mean, it's, it ties in. It's like a different side of the same coin. Instead of, like, having complete tunnel vision and just running into everything while right-clicking on one unit or building, it is the not-clicking anything. Oh, my God. Oh, here comes everybody. Nope, there's the... Mm. You know, mm-hmm, well, there goes the spine. Okay, well, probably a good thing, to be honest. All right, and then I need, no. Nope. Mm. What a dodge, by the way. All right, no. Okay, we don't have, yep, that one does. 
<laughs> Save the drone for that. Swarm forces under attack. So let me be clear. Let me be clear here. If you had just a move from the time you had like six roaches, you could have killed everything. You would have lost like half of your stuff. But, you know, I think you would have lost about the same amount, even with this intricate micro. This is like, uh, I don't, it's, it's like, oh, you have a girlfriend, right? You know, you know how it is. It's like making out drunk. Like, it sounds like a great idea. But really, somebody, like, best case scenario, it's messy. Worst case scenario, someone needs a dentist. Or a chiropractor. Or both. Ah, yes. <coughs> this is, we've talked about advanced platinum evo chambers. This is, the threat is removed. This is pre-Platinum Evo Chamber. <coughs> the threat is now removed. It is... Macro time! Actually, that's not the right. I'm imagining, like, the, uh, the, the Salt Bay meme. Like, and then a little bit of... Little, little bit of... Upgrades? Get another... Hatch? A little bit of micro. There you go. And then we throw in a tablespoon of uh, extra minerals, and there you go. Why is the smaller spoon used for tea and the larger spoon for the table? You're like, well, the teaspoon is for stirring the tea. Well, then why don't they just use, like, a fucking straw or something? Ah, yes. Now we're gonna go Hydras with 17 drones. Ah, uh, so creative. Alright, yep, that's a Void Ray. At least he's building queens. I'll give him that. Wow, that was some top tier Void Ray. No, more like F2 micro, but... Uh, here, no, mm. there you go. So let me be clear, it is at this point that you are winning the game. In fact, if you attack across the map, eh, I don't know. But this is the point at which the game is being won so far. Up 25 supply, a comparable worker count. Well, we're not going to worry about the upgrades on either side. We rarely do. Killing most of the important units in the army. Uh huh. What is happening? Where are we going? I'm sorry. So, don't answer for him. Why is this here? There's one acceptable answer. Even if it's a re I, I will accept the, the retroactive, obvious cover answer. Was to scout for a base, and if there wasn't one, it would become a hatch. I'm gonna give him- I'm gonna give it- that's a pass fail. I'm gonna give him a pass. Because most, like, you could have said, like, to scout for a base. And a, an extractor would be the least likely to get fucked up when it comes to scouting. Any unit could move, but an extractor can't. But the fact there was a whole thought process that, um, like, 
You could have just, I don't know, not built an extractor and moved there. But in terms of like uh, creatively circumventing your weaknesses, like the not really using hotkeys or accidentally moving units, this would be a pretty ingenious way to scout. If inefficient, obviously, because that's one thirty-second of our economy right there. Uh, but when it comes to knowing, like, you just move your units around, if you actually just put an extractor at each base to scout, that is one of the stupid genius things that you could do. But, no, he said, like, there was a whole thought process involved in both. One, scouting for bis this base, and two, I haven't even got, I didn't even, it didn't even register, because I was addressing the first part. But I'm sorry, you said if you didn't scout a base there, you were going to build a hatch? Is that, is that the statement? I, not, not, let's work on that half. You were, that, you were, you were gonna go ahead and build a hatch over there? Uh, one, two, you're gonna build a hatch? It's like free bases. No, 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 no. Was gonna build a hatch. A key point. Your, your third base was gonna be the top left corner. This ain't Brood War anymore. I've been over this. If it was Brood War, those Zerglings would have killed the cannons earlier. Okay, okay, all right. And yada, yada, yada. Actually just built a Hydra, whatever. Uh. Unfortunate. Brenda, who is this guy? Weren't there more units before? We don't speak of that. Just be happy you still have energy. But he's not gonna transfuse. No, he's got to transfuse because queens take targeting priority over ravagers. Which makes it very, very confusing. A... He doesn't know what the tab key is. I don't think he's using a keyboard. Ah, where, why are we retreating now? Just end it. Just let it be over! I've had enough! Where are we going now? Oh, I thought these were the queens. No. I'm excited to see where this game goes. We've, we're well past that four hour mark when I usually just, if the game's terrible, it's done. And if it's terrible in its own special way, then I enjoy it. Like that's when the coaching part really does start to fall off. You try playing slash talking about StarCraft for more than four hours, let alone trying to be productive about it. Give it a shot. Ever. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Ten Hydras. Zergling speed and plus one melee. The answer is not attacking from one angle every single time. Splitting your units a little bit. Attacking from multiple angles, or having things like lurkers. Not, let me just clump to a little fucking ball, and roll into whatever choke point I want to today. 
Like, and I get it. I get it. A lot of the time, Storm is scary because it kind of takes you off guard and your units are already like this. But this is like the 19th time he's been stormed. So the fact, like, we've not tried any new options yet besides maybe hitting him from the back. I gotta... Uh, really, I mean... To say it's a lack of creativity implies there was ever going to be a chance of it. Where did we all ran through here? I don't know. Okay. Why is the creep spread so small? Is that your takeaway? It's too small. <laughs> he found my extractor! Real value! It is real value. Now he's off the map. Or is he? Where are we going? Okay, we're scouting. Wow, he found something. Oh my god, are those infestors in real life? What, do they have neural? No. Have we tried attacking through this angle? Have we all tried grouping up? Oh, beautiful. Have we tried grouping up and attacking down a ramp yet? I just got here. Oh, some, we were too thick. No, have we tried attacking up a ramp? I haven't tried that. Oh, it didn't go great. Maybe the back of the ramp. Maybe, maybe coming down this ramp. Maybe this time. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting too spread out, girls. Come back here. Come back here. Four deep formation. Commander said square formation. And we're doing our best. Wait, why are we building roaches? Oh. I said there would be a lack of creativity. What I meant was a lack of intentional creativity, but the unintentional creativity is just beautiful, behold. I have never seen anyone intimidate their army like this before. That is just, yeah. You see that over there? That's what's gonna happen if you don't get your fucking shit together. Yeah, you stand there, you, you think about what you've done. <laughs> Why aren't you alert? Well, we don't have the gas! What? Yeah, well, you should have thought of that before you came here, shouldn't you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the Zerglings could get out. They just choose not to out of solidarity. I don't... <laughs> All right. You know what time it is. That creep spread looking a little small, don't you think? Ha! Snuck it on him. Oh, out my crowd! Who even thinks of that? Can you burrow broodlings? No. It's like campaign where there's just a bunch of burrowed units everywhere. Uh oh. Everybody come back. Yes, especially you lurkers. Uh huh. Um. Mm hmm. <laughs> and I, what I want you to do is when you just back in, back in. Okay? Or like sideways. Tilt sideways. We're gonna go up. What do you mean that's not how it works? I don't <laughs> what do you say? No, no, no. Shoot off the edge. Through the air. Into the carriers. 
It's a James Bond movie, okay? What we can do is we align the biogenetic network in order to find the seismic frequency with which to travel the spines through the airwaves and treat them as if they were the ground. Oh, well, when you think of it that way. I hadn't thought of that. Have we tried? Guys! I don't know. I just got here. Have we tried all going down the ramp into the storm? Like, maybe it doesn't hurt that much. Have we tried? We did? Well, no one else. Does anyone back them up? What do you mean they all died? Okay, whatever. Oh, have we, no, have we tried going down the ramp into the storm? So, has anybody considered this? Okay, and we tried not burrowing the hydras. I mean, this game's been over since the, like, 14th storm. Which was relatively early on. We're like 38 in now. But uh, storm number 14 really laid the point home. Forces under attack. Mm -hmm. well, there are still a few burrowed hydras waiting for their campaign moment. Uh huh. Oh, now, no, wait, but I don't think he knows the Hydras are there. I don't, <laughs> the Protoss a little forward about it. Oh. Yes, Corruptors counter carriers, but nothing was going to counter anything here. This man... You know what? I see you. I see you. If you, if you really put your heart out... You put your heart and soul into the match. I think you can make it, though, like, from high gold 2 to low gold 1. I believe in you. Maybe even middle gold 1. Mm, winning streak. So, wow. You see, as we go later in the night, I don't know, I think part of it is I lose mental focus. It's been like five, over five hours. And part of it is the price goes up. So that means the people sending in their replays are less likely to just be looking for a way to improve, but more just looking for everyone else to look. Um, because they have the disposable income and not the time nor inclination to actually learn how to play StarCraft. Not necessarily, but it's more likely. Icomoni. To wrap it up, I feel like I should have made more libs sooner. And not just a click into the base, but I didn't see the lurkers when I scanned ahead. But I feel like I held pretty good for the beginning. Icomoni is a platinum Terran. Yes. No, no, no. I can read. I don't need the confirmation. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Oh, here we go again. Thank you, Air Master. Now I have your attention. Thank you, Winter, for all your time and the amount of making me laugh. Well, what about the amount of creep spread? Is it small or large? I'm not saying it means anything, but I'm saying it says something. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Blue Pizza, for seven months. CC upgrade done. Did the Reaper die? 
Good. A tech lab on the factory. The is this to flip it around? CC upgrade done. You remember. SCB ready. The enemy is attacking your base. So there's a reason, by the way, why we do Hellion builds. You might be like, well, that's a lot of Zerglings. And yes, that is a lot of Zerglings. But there could have been four Hellions by now. A tank doesn't even really solve this, and neither does apparently going back in the replay and crashing StarCraft. That's how bad it was only going to get worse, StarCraft? Okay. I don't know. But we will see if we can reload it. But thanks, Icomoni. Mango, we, we getting our Grand Champ rewards after this? Or does Max sleep like a normal person? Oh, what is this, Dahaka? Just trash. It's not... Trash it if it's not worth the rewatch. No, we haven't even seen anything. You see, that's another staple of later in the night. It's like, no, 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 whatever. Like, here's 30 bucks. Ah! Shut up! He's like, wait a second. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I shouldn't have sent this. Uh, yikes. I don't know. Because that would be the explanation for not building Hellions. Would be that, that part. Like, you can't just do like a late tech lab on the factory and they're like, well, I guess I need a siege tank. Your command side? So here's the thing, like, I don't even know why we're building- In fact, I, I, don't, I don't know why we're building the bunker. There's no build that says to build a bunker. I, I don't mind it, but usually you don't build the bunker and instead you focus on getting Hellions out. But, I, I guess the bunker helps a little here, but usually you only have one Marine, is why. So the bunker's kind of useless. SCV's under attack. Save the Especially, like, okay, so we see six. Oh, so you, you remember that was six lengths. We struggled to produce anything. 2v2 is a different skill set, and the builds are completely different. This is not true. 2v2, the builds are completely different because most of the players who are, like, diamond in 2v2 are like gold in 1v1, but their stupid one base builds work a lot better because if two players are doing it, it's going to beat players who are playing normie macro builds. The reason we don't usually have 2v2s is because usually play, people play 2v2s because they actually have friends uh, or are too insecure to play 1v1, in which case they probably wouldn't be sending it in in the first place. You need a bunker to prevent the Zergling all in? Explain to me how it helps. So how is the how does the bunker prevent a Zergling all in? Because you can't get any more Marines if you're building a reactor. It's just not going to be there by the time they could have Zerglings. Don't trust me. Trust the Zerglings. It doesn't, of course. Ah, yes. You didn't include a lull or a kappa, so how am I supposed to know sarcasm? Uh, it just looks scary. Not to those zerglings. So the point here is that there already could be, well, you know what? You'd probably have to be on the high ground. You're probably losing the low ground here if he builds this anyways, because he only has 16 drones. Um, but a siege tank just delays things, as opposed to hellions, which actually kill zerglings. Let alone that disaster. Remember, he chose to send this in. He said, um, I felt like I held pretty good in the beginning. No. He built Zerglings into a hard wall. That is literally the least you could fucking do. This is, if you couldn't make it this far, it'd be a miracle you got to Platinum. 
But no, the choice was Hellions. If you were just building Hellions, you'd have an opportunity to counterattack, and he would have to respect you. But I don't blame him, he doesn't. Because if you build tanks, that means you're a fucking bitch. And fucking bitches mean you can just sit back in your bases, Zerg, build 84 drones, and do whatever the fuck you want, because that Terran is now scared as shit because any amount of Zergling showed up at any point. There's gonna... Now, he is a Platinum Zerg, remember. Now... I, I don't know why I was assuming this was Diamond. This is Platinum. He's a Platinum Zerg, which means he forgot his Baneling Nest and now remembered, oh, Banelings are fun, and will now build Banelings, and there will be a tank, thus justifying the tank. And then it'll be like, well, against Platinum, building a tank is smart. No, still dumb. The Hellions would have still been fine. But anyways. Moving on. Oh, yes. The beauty of this is that the Zerglings are right there, like, on top of the optimism. Like, the nope. enemy is all over your SUVs. Who would have thought that those Zerglings that ran away three seconds ago would still be around? Oh. Who would have thought that those Zerglings that were around three seconds ago would still be around? Aha. Uh -huh. Intimidated. All right. It's like it's it's like watching toddlers fight. Like they don't know why they're here. All they know is they must kill. But they're just not very good at it. Like <laughs> The Zerg could have gone back and done whatever the fuck he wanted, but of course he built the Banelings. And Icomoni could have defended without losing anything, but of course, he's... What, what, will the barracks burn? I don't know. Of course, he's going to sit in his base and build tanks. Oh my god. Can even one get to it? One can get to it. Toddlers can be vicious, but not deadly. That's my point. Vicious, but... If they're gonna kill you, like, you give them a knife, and it might take a while. They, they're they just as likely to kill themselves with it, is the problem. Thus, Banelings. <laughs> Your add-on is all done. Supply depots are in short... Uh, supply. Ready. Mind out of that cluster. And still in the game? Nice. Why don't you listen to me? Not me, but him Gangway coming through Your add-on has been constructed Add-on is good to go SCB ready Ready You're all mined out of that mineral field <sighs> You're still playing so much like a bitch. Let us let us be clear. But as bitches go, you macroed better. Any amount of upgrades, three racks, forty-three SCVs, which for the timing isn't bad. At some point, we may pretend to use control groups. We haven't yet. This is the classic... Well, at one point I was attacked, so I will spend the next eight minutes sitting in my base. The only difference between a Silver Leaguer and a Platinum Leaguer is the Silver Leaguer is now going battle cruisers. Whereas the Platinum has eventually found their way to something looking like a normal Terran build. You took all the research is done. You must mineral field depleted. Upgrade is all done. Icomoni, just give me a ballpark. When do you think you move out this game? What's the timer? 
You gotta get that mouse button for your, your army. When I max out. Fair. You must construct additional And when might that be? 13 minutes. Okay, oh, you already said it. I'm... No, no, no. So, for a second, I was like, maybe he's not too much of a bitch. Like, would a bitch macro up like this? Would a bitch really take the low ground here? Would a bitch get an armory? Would a bitch build a round of turrets all over his mane without scouting any air? Would a bitch... Give it a moment. More supply depots, my friend. Oh, it's on. Let me describe to you the moment when we realize... Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, so... I thought he loaded up the SCV and dropped it out of the medevac. Which, I mean, come on. But instead, he just sausage-fingered it. Gotta use those mouse buttons. And I accidentally brought the medevac with it. So, better, I guess. And now we're wondering why the medevac got here, and now we're dealing with that instead of building units. I guess we're trying to get a third. So, if you're not... So, if you're not gonna move your fucking army... I'm, I'm tired of these half-assed, uncommitted, bullshit expansions. Okay? From you Terran players who have every right to build a third CC, make a decision. Terrans can have it both ways, the lucky fucking bastards. What do I mean by that? I mean that as a Terran, you can choose to put your expansion either on the low ground or on the high ground and float it over. But when you, and I, you haven't done this yet, but when you take a third on the low ground and your army sits in your fucking natural, that means you're saying like, well, I will expand, but at the slightest sign of trouble, I will cower in fear. Either you're taking a third or you're not, but if you are, get the fuck out there. In fact, you probably should have gotten the fuck out there before expanding. Let alone whether or not this is the better place to expand. I don't care about that. I send, send some units to protect? No, no, no. Not when it's done. The point is, while it's building, when it is most vulnerable, that is when the units should be there. When it's done, okay, like, you can't just come up like, oh, good job, everyone. It's finished up. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. We're gonna bring one tank and 30 More supply, supply of bio. I'm willing to spare that. No, I'm, okay, we're gonna, one tank at a time. Still no control groups, which means even diamond's going to be a struggle, because you're playing bio with the micro and macro and mechanics of a mech player. Let's be honest here. Upgrade complete. But at what cost? Like, you might be like, Winter, what do you mean? Mech players are still playing Terran. Honestly, Mech is closer to Protoss than it is to Terran. Embrace it. If it doesn't die in one storm, then are you really playing Terran? Your upgrade is complete. Aim so, I, 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 I pose this question to you, Ikemoni. What is the point of the sensor towers? What do what do the sensor towers do for you? Like we're building them like it's going to help. For early warning from an attack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good thing we had an early warning. <laughs> Otherwise, those tanks wouldn't have known to turn around. I mean, if the blob is bigger, maybe he would see it.
Good thing we get to test this point. So he sees a big ass red blob. And then it comes back again. Ah yes, a worthy investment those sensor towers. The first time we see it, half the tanks are unseaged and the Zerglings are getting gunned down. Which looks good for the Terran. The army's moving, yet there are no control groups. Thankfully, upgrades and macro is good. Mineral field. Oh, it's on. You want a piece of me, boy? It's about to get me. Mineral patch is gone. You're and upgrades. Oh, it's on. You're all mined out of that mineral field. Upgrade completed. Is that fucking liberator range? Out of that cluster, and still in the game. Nice. You're at up. Restart. So the answer to when he maxes and moves out is well over 14 minutes, but there were extenuating circumstances. You took all the minerals from that cluster. Go, go. Ready for dust. This dude is all macro and no micro. That's why I'm saying. I think I've said it before. He's a mech player. Play mech. That's not an insult. It's a compliment. It's a compliment to how little you control your army. So compliment that. Upgrade complete. Where are you going? Just go! Why are you going? Why, why are we here? What are we exploring the ruins? What the fuck is this? Better. Upgrade is all done. Just. Just go! Maybe you don't have all your tanks unseaged? I'm still waiting on Maybe, maybe, like, siege up your fucking tanks. Maybe do that. But, but, uh, how was I supposed to know? No, just maybe siege them up before going up the ramp. An upgrade's been completed. A so you say, you said in your statement, I didn't see lurkers when I scanned ahead. To which my statement is, ARE YOU FUCKING BLIND?! <clears throat> my screen was covering it. Do you know how stupid you sound? And you might be like, look, Winter. On your screen, you can't see the lurkers either. That's why you look at the scan, not one half the scan and call it a fucking day. Like, so, let's use your stupid-ass dumb argument of, like, then why did you scan here if all you were going to look at was this? Like, like if you're not going to look at the scan, then why scan anyways? Mind out of that cluster. Well, now we see the lurkers. Like... It, you you made it sound like you ran through the lurkers and your army died before you realized. Right now, you have every up. Those are not range. Those are not hive tech lurkers. They don't even have any upgrades, which means marines survive three hits. You have an ample, and I want to say with great vigor, ample amount of time, because it's a fun word, to not do this. You You have ample time. To just back off and siege up or go around or even drop the main. What do you do? And why aren't... The question is not so much what do you do, but why aren't you doing it with a mech army? No, no, no. There's no excuse here. The excuse of I didn't see the lurkers gets... Like, that's even... A, that's a worse excuse now. Like, if you legitimately just ran through and your army died and you didn't realize, that's more believable than whatever this is. You definitely see the lurkers now. You, you've seen the lurkers. You've made your calculations. 
and they came up with, not only do I not siege the tanks, but maybe I can run past the spines. They're called tanks, not siege... Uh My solution to how to microbiome for you is to go Mac. I can't, like, like, your macro is probably Masters. But the only way someone this much of a bitch with this bad of micro is to just build 20 Thors and pray. Patch is gone. It's not coming back. Are we out of scans? Oh my god. Like, there is no amount... I like how we're going to be left with just the mech units, thankfully. That, that is... That is... When this war is over, you're going on trial. I... There's going to be a convention or two named after you. One of my favorite voice lines from Minx is when you start the game. One of his starting game lines is, It's time to break a few conventions. I got... Which, classic Manx. Uh-huh. This was actually a stupid move from the Zerg now. The Zerg's like, and now I bring in the Banelings. And lose all of them. But yeah, the real takeaway here, I, I agree, you should have built Liberators quicker. You should have just not built any bio and stuck with just the Thors and the Liberators, okay? Thors and Liberators. The only units that survived that massacre because they're harder to kill by lurkers or by, uh, banelings. You want a piece of me, boy? That Vespine Gazer... You should have started building t Thors and Liberators eight minutes, n ten minutes ago. <laughs> Your upgrade is complete. Edon finished up. You picked that it's one. About to get heavy. <laughs> I didn't see the lurkers with my first scan. I saw them with the second one. I just didn't fucking care. I need to just let's let's look at the supply on the second scan. The second scan is I definitely see the lurkers. Research complete. Upgrade complete. First scan, don't see him. Okay, fair. The minerals from that, cluster. that scan, you definitely see them. It's 187. Let's say you lose 10 more to a couple more swipes. 187 is your supply if you just back the fuck up. You took the goddamn scenic prophecy route, getting here, take it all the fucking way back, and around the other side, giving yourself time to contemplate whether or not you're going to be remembered in, in some sort of textbook as someone you're not supposed to be a fan of, but still keeps coming up. It's called the Hitler Rule. It's like, well... I'm not sure you read those textbooks correctly. I don't... <laughs> Upgrade complete, but add-on complete. Your add-on is command sir. Your base is under assault. Oh my God. Or Pickett's charge, which is good in a bad one. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna lose 80 supply for 20 and then GG. have anything. Next besides time. being a bitch to start, besides not using control groups, besides not going mech, honestly, I don't even know if mech will save you. If you scan that many lurkers and decide, yeah, let's go for it, boys. Like, that is, that is a mistake of such proportion that there is no other solution. Like, even if it was mech, I don't know. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that you're gonna be platinum. That's that's a, that's like a C. Here's the thing: we gotta do a split score here. The macro was actually like an A minus. 
But everything else was like a D plus. Which leaves us with about a C, maybe a C plus. I think it evens out closer to C. Are those wows good or bad? They're wow. So, if this video left you saying, wow, 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 then like and subscribe. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this Angry Coach Marathon a little shorter than the last few, thankfully. Not by much. Thank you for watching. Good luck. And have fun.